right, what's up folks? I'm late to the party. I have some meet I have a meeting I gotta do on Tuesday mornings. But <clears throat> here I am, here I am. Obviously. Obviously I just started a stream and I was gonna say uh, nobody is here but I got <laughs> I got some I got some loyal I got some dudes that love to come see me we got vaccine up in here he's letting me know new update step back on nerve now pressure fighter is more worth doing now mr. pause yes sir <laughs> somebody got some energy this afternoon Yes, sir. <laughs> uh oh, there goes the next guy. Pressure fighting is better for us. All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> we got some energy up in here. We got some energy up in here. So, um, yeah, I had I had got some uh, text messages on my phone and stuff. Guys, let me know what's going on, and uh, and uh, and I just I just got to reading the stuff, and I'm about to uh, read the patch notes for my for myself and all that, and Uh, yeah, my 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 dog my dog been talking to me. Oh, they removed the lightning hands, huh? Only in middle way and Walter way. Okay, okay. All right, so give me a sec. Give me a second, guys. I wanna I wanna read. I'm gonna read the patch notes for myself, so y'all can watch me react. Uh, y'all can watch me react to the patch notes. And uh, and then I'll be able I'll be able to talk to y'all. Like, everybody's hella excited, and uh, I'm I'm happy to see all the all the excitement. So I'm gonna go over these patch notes if, for myself to see if I see anything um, different from uh, you know what was previously in the game. Obviously, there's always stuff that you don't um, you don't normally see. Uh, so here so here I go. I'm gonna start focusing on the patch notes. Alright, hi fight fans. Been thinking about buying Undisputed and haven't done it yet. Oh, we don't need to worry about that. Save twenty percent shit. We don't need to worry about that. Uh okay, here we go. The patch notes. Joe added to the game with his own unique movement and signature punches. Joins the light heavyweight and middleweight division. Tommy Morrison joins the heavyweight division. And uh, Adam joins the lightweight division. We got three new venues. Lighthouse, Magna, and Santiago. Okay, and we also have gameplay changes implemented get this over here gameplay changes implemented uh new body block animations so that shots to the body can be more effectively blocked and we've also updated the block transitions to make it look smoother adjusted the step back straight animation to be more in line with other punches this should make it more difficult to land than, than one step back straight in quick successions um, adjusted this wait punch punch cooldown that activates arm fatigue has been reduced arm fatigue should feel more consistent and less restrictive. Um, a 
adjusted dodges when a fighter is close to the ropes players should now be able to dodge closer to the ropes adjusted weaving on the ropes so players can now weave back fully on the ropes man they've really they have really been tweaking that weaving on the ropes thing a whole lot there seems to be something wrong with weaving near the ropes i've seen like three or four patches in a row they just keep talking about weaving and the ropes so something's going on with that i actually uh caught a guy in like he got i don't know lag glitched in between the ropes like he was entangled like where he couldn't leave the ropes he couldn't back out or walk into the ring he was entangled in the ropes and uh and i knocked him out so there is something going on with the ropes um we got ai changes introduced ai fight strategy which means AI fighters can now adjust um, to how a fight is going and can choose to be more or less aggressive. Throw more or fewer punches, adjust which punch they're throwing, etc. Improve reactions to player attack, <laughs> feints, turtling, and defensive play. Improved ring positioning. So. Okay, hold on, let me see here. So you expected more. I face the big runners on here and move around the ring of the hole. I don't want to stand there. BZ, I sent a screenshot. Legit, I got this man to 13% stamina by round seven. Pressure fighting is good if you know how to fight on the front foot. Okay, give me one second. Um, <laughs> improved ring positioning. The AI is now able to faint, punch it, clinch and kneel the AI should now land more counters okay and then we got fighter changes um con removed lightning hands trait welter and middleweight josh taylor normalized the speed of his southpaw punches so that they are in line with orthodox punch speeds ah normalize the speed of the southpaw punches they are now in line with orthodox punch speeds okay so yeah i seen y'all were saying that earlier that they fixed the uh the power straight from the southpaws uh i'm talking about it right now tank they've um i haven't played the game yet i'm just reading the patch notes so the southpaws are no longer able to do that extremely lightning fast power straight and knock you out so we see that normalized on u6 and on natasha so they fixed all those punch speeds that's a good thing because that's what made that punch that power straight made the southpaws um ridiculous they were getting they were getting flash ko's um with that power straight and that shit pissed me off from from the very moment they brought Sergio into the game. Um, <laughs> um, so we also have here Lomachenko adjusted animations for Lomachenko's pivot left body hook. Okay, so he had some weird animations going on. Um. Don't worry, Joe and Tank. I'm at home being a child as a grown man getting talked to like a child. So at least you're not getting talked to like a child. <laughs> but maybe it could be a decent trade-off to get talked to like a child and get to do what you want to do, right? And it, it is kind of... It's kind of, man, it's right there. It's teetering on like, yo, is it worth it? Let me work it. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> just playing. <laughs> Got that little, that little Missy Elliott in there, huh? <laughs> All right. He said, I'll switch with you. <laughs> I'll put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. 
Uh, <laughs> call me what you like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go there with you, Joe. Okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Y'all guys are some clowns, bro. <laughs> Y'all guys are some clowns, bro. I am not playing with y'all. I am not playing with y'all. Yo, thank you for the raid, uh, Rukuba. Thank you for the raid. And uh, please send me a message, Rukuba, and I will give you a follow. I appreciate that. He said, what up, easy? Anything fixed? Yeah, we. I'm going down the list uh, right now. There we go. There we go. Let me give uh, Rukuba a follow. Thank you, thank you for the raid. I'm just going over the the patch notes. Here we go. Let me go ahead and get that follow, big homie. Boom, right there. Uh, so I'm just going over the I'm at the very end of the patch notes and then I'm gonna give the game a play. I had fun for about five fights, then it was just the same shit. <laughs> Yo, thank you for thank you for keeping it real, homie. Uppercut spam cheaters. Keep it real, baby. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm at the end of the patch notes here. We got bug fits, bugs, dang, bug fixes, fixed an issue with Steam achievements, fixed an issue with timeline, timelines in Kritsu Arena that meant the game would freeze if the player pauses during the timeline. I don't know what that means. Timeline. Step back straight, still strong as fuck. You just can't spam it. Okay. Fixed an issue that caused knock, knock down boxers to ragdoll erratically when in contact with the opponent. Oh, that was fun though. They fixed the ragdoll, the goofy ass ragdoll. That was fun. Damn. Fixed an issue that caused the game to a apply the wrong resolution upon a fresh launch fix an issue that was causing two fighter models to sometimes load into the fighter select menu at the same time never seen that so wow uh yeah um i expected more as well that's all the patch notes right there i'll be dead i'll be dead honest i expected i expected uh more fixes i feel like the um the southpaw um power straight fixes i feel like that you know what i'm saying like the pa the southpaw uh the speed of the southpaw punches i feel like that that was like that's a basic fix that should have got fixed a long time ago like that's like a very very basic fix removing lightning hands from khan is like whatever you know removing lightning hands from khan is like whatever um a lot of people call khan trash in middleweight i used them anyways even though that they said Khan was trash in middleweight, I still use them anyway. So that's kind of like whatever. Um, and we go up here to some uh, gameplay changes. Um, I'm going to have to actually play the game to see about the new body block animations. I have to play it. Um, and the step back straight the step back straight should have been fixed a long time ago either as well but i mean i guess so so should the body block but you know whatever the the arm fatigue the arm fatigue is is very very um i want to see what they're talking about with the arm fatigue that's something that uh is kind of strange and we got new venues and new fighters so yeah, that seems uh very very minimal. Uh, what I just read, all that seems extremely minimal. Oh shit! So that's a little bit. To me, that's a little bit weird. 
Um, the patch seems very, very minimal, very minimal, minimalistic. Um, let's see. Let's see how this goes. We'll just do a um, quick match. Obviously, we don't want to go into rank with uh, crazy stuff. Here's the new fighter, Tommy uh, Morrison, 84 overall. Um, mm, got some cold chills. Ugh, give me. Blood got some warrior bombs away. Smoking left hook. Uh, he looks like just off of first glance, he looks like he could be a pretty decent fighter. Um, outside of having no defense, he looks like he's all gas, no breaks. That's what Tommy looks like: all gas, no breaks. Just off bat, off off the rip. Tommy before the drugs. All right, then I heard we had a lightweight fighter. Is that right? I believe there's a lightweight fighter. If I could find him. Oh, here he goes. We got Adam right here. Oh man, we got we got somebody that could that can hang with uh George Davy, bro. A 71 overall. Boy, we got somebody down there at the bottom. Down below. <laughs> We got somebody real low. Okay. <laughs> Golly. Real low with no traits on top of that. No traits. Okay. Yeah, we got us a George Davy here. Um, that's uh, really cool, man. I like the uh, the cheetah print or leopard print. Print trunks. So let's head over to middleweight. Um, did we get a middleweight fighter? Oh yeah, here we go. We got we got a uh, Joe. Uh, man, you know I'm gonna butcher his fucking name, man. Y'all gonna have to tell me how to say it the right way. Calgaz Calgazi or something like that. I've heard people say it before, but y'all gonna have to correct me on saying that motherfucking name. I'm gonna fuck that bitch up every time. Uh. He's a 92 overall, Cal Zagi. Cal Zagi. Boy, that's, that's fucking crazy. Cal Calzone. <laughs> I know his name ain't no motherfucking Calzone, but you eat Calzones. <laughs> Is that how you say it for real? Calzone like the pizza? This is the. Shit, he said, that's how I say it. <laughs> Calzone. <laughs> Cal, Cal Z. <laughs> man, look, I ain't, y'all ain't no better than me. This man gonna say some, some Cal's, Cal Ziki. <laughs> Cal, Cal Zikai. Y'all ain't no better than me, bro. A 92 overall. Holy shit, bro. Cal Zeke E. A 92 overall. What the fuck? They got him rated better than than Roy? What the fuck? Not Zeke. Zek. Zek. Cal Zek. Cal Zek E. Okay, Cal Zek E. God man. Where, where is this guy from? Pride of Welsh? Not Zeke, Calzeki. Man, that's a yeah. That's a harder, harder read name, pronounce name, or whatever. Uh, but a night, but a ninety-two overall. Appreciate you, Joe. Appreciate you, Joe. Well, you took me to English class right there, homie. Right there, took me to class. That boy schooled me, man. You know what I'm talking about you know what you know sauce bender in the building bro I'm getting the sauce I'm getting the sauce from Joe man sauce me up right there oh uh, he got the crazy stats bro 
them stats. <laughs> he said them stats mid as fuck. <laughs> he said them stats mid. So we'll talk about a hey, no lie, a hey, no cap. These stats are are mid. For real, these stats are mid. Cause he doesn't have. It's crazy that they gave him a ninety-two overall, but he doesn't have any stats that are like ninety-seven. So if you go if you go look at Roy, Roy actually has stats that are ninety-seven. So you go look at Roy. Roy's got 97 on agility, 97 on accuracy, 95 straight, 95 counterpunch. Roy has some stat, 95 body health. He has some stats that are almost 100. And then you come look at uh, 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 Joe. We're just going to say Joe for now on because I'm going to have to go back to uh, uh, Joe from the John school. We're just going to say Joe for now on. Uh, Joe right here doesn't have any he doesn't even have a 95 stat not one stat is 95 he doesn't have not one stat that's 95 so uh that's quite odd to have mid <laughs> to uh, we have mid stats it's kind of odd to have mid stats but be rated a 92 overall so um There, there are some, there are some stats in here that are pretty alarming to me. That he would get a ninety-two overall. That he would get a ninety-two overall, pretty alarming. So uh, let's go. Let's see what his uh, his traits are. He's got punches and bunches, untouchable, increased dodge speed slip speed um okay now his traits his traits are pretty nice though <laughs> vaccine said me me traits too i think his traits are actually pretty are pretty nice now nah, he got he got high level traits now he don't his traits are not are not like um his traits are not like bullshit traits Tommy Morrison, yeah, I'll go back and show you Tommy Morrison. His traits are not bullshit traits. Ty there you go, Duke. Tireless is OP. Check out Tireless. Tireless is OP. And then for a high-skilled fighter, for somebody that plays the game at a high level, untouchable is a fucking crazy-ass trait, bro, for somebody that plays the game at a high level. Untouchable is crazy. That's a crazy fucking trait. And then you got punches and bunches, which is kind of like that's just like automatic. That's that's on autopilot. Punches and bunches on autopilot. Untouchable is a trait for a high skill fighter. So that's that's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. So we had a guy say he wanted to see. Uh, did we get anybody in welterweight? Is there any welterweight fighter? some uh with the new guy uh thank you for the follow uh angel eyes he wants to see tommy morrison so i'll go back and show him tommy morrison real fast so uh thank you for the follow uh angel eye and here is tommy morrison right here you see his traits He's got the blood, the blood and guts warrior, bombs away, smoke and left hook, and uh, here's the stats. He's an 84 fighter. Um, on paper, I haven't fought. I haven't fought. In the game at all yet on paper he looks pretty decent you know i mean just numbers wise he looks pretty decent but i haven't used them or nothing like that um i'm actually not really not really interested and uh i don't think i'm interested in using any of the new fighters 
at the moment. Um, <laughs> Duke, <laughs> Duke, you wildin'. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Duke, you wildin', bro. So, <laughs> I'm not really interested in any of the new fighters. So, what I will do is I will fight, though. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with the... Uh, Yeah, let's. Uh, I'll just go with Daniels. I'll just go with with uh, Jacobs. And if you look at if you look at Jacobs, bro. If you can if you compare um Jacobs to uh, Joe, Jacobs is rated at eighty four, but Jacobs has a ninety four right hand, which is greater than any stat that Joe has. Jacob Jacobs has a 94 right hand is greater than any one single stat that Joe has, which is kind of strange. Uh, you know, uh, he's got a 93 in power. Um, Jacobs is basically all of Jacobs stats are higher than the 84, yet he is rated at 84 overall, which, you know, I don't really... There's a, I'm sure there's a lot of things that goes into uh, why they say a fighter it has an overall rating. It might be uh, how tall they are, how long their arms are, um, mocap animations. Uh, it could be a whole lot of things that have to go in it outside of just the actual number stats. Um, yeah. So we got us a rookie here. Um, okay, his high and low block feel tighter. Okay, so yeah, that's that's right. Um, we got us, like I said, we got us a new guy. His strengths kind of. The UK gym is fire. I came from 12 hours of work playing his favorite game and he got you. <laughs> it's okay, Lollipop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nice. Germs TV, have you got to play this update much? No, this is my first match, Germs. My first match. So... Um, they said they updated the block. Oh, okay, look at that. As soon as you block, it tucks it in automatically for you. So I just want to say something. I just want to say something. Now that they so-called fixed the block, I just want to tell you guys that didn't that didn't know about the block um, earlier. You know, you know how Sauce Bender. I I love to uh, I. I, I love to um you know not tell the sauce the way that you were supposed to uh to block the uh, lead body uppercut um prior to this patch was you were supposed to uh, low block like this and lean so you can lean back you're supposed to lean forward and that would have covered up your midsection so that the lead body uppercut uh wouldn't wouldn't hit you but uh now that that no longer exists, I can tell you the sauce. That was the uh, way to block the lead body uppercut before. The only problem with it was is that you had to stop to be able to do it. And uh, you could get in trouble. If you stopped, somebody could just hit you in the top of the head. And so you're trying to protect yourself from the lead body uppercut. And then you get hooked to the head. You're like, man, this fucking sucks. But that was the way to get the 100% body block uh, yesterday, was to block and lean forward. But we don't have to worry about yesterday now, because today is a new day. Uh, 
Um. He said that step back penalty. So let me check that out. I'm going to check out the step back penalty now. So give me a second on that. Let me check that out. Okay, yeah. You can only do like basically two step backs. Uh, I-O. Thank you for the follow. I-O-O-O. -O -O. You can basically only do like two. Um... And probably that second one could really get you in trouble if you tried to double step back you could probably maybe get hooked yeah you could probably get hooked on that second step back if you're not careful um i'm gonna tell you exactly how you could probably get hooked when somebody does that second step back you could probably do the 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 forward hook that hook right there you could probably walk up and forward hook them while they're trying to complete that second step back and knock the fuck out of them i'm just gonna put that out there right now that's just that's just the sauce right there i'm just guessing it's possible that you could walk forward and forward hook them so if they're doing so i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna give you i'm gonna get you to play right now i don't know if it's gonna work or not i'm just gonna i'm just I'm just using my my brain power real quick. So if you're doing a step back, a step back right, the opponent should do a forward, maybe a forward right hook, and you could probably catch them. Maybe if you were in loose movement and you walk up and do a forward right hook, you could you might be able to catch them. I don't know. I don't know. You might be able to catch them. I'll try it out. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. It makes no sense at all. I know. I mean, a lot of things that BZ says makes no fucking sense. None. But we're here to watch BZ make no sense whatsoever because that shit is comic relief. <laughs> What's up, Dre? I bet you won't put me to sleep today. I bet you won't uppercut me today. What's up, Dre? <laughs> You did that shit yesterday, I bet you won't do it today. <laughs> All right, so so what else do y'all think is uh you y'all uh, y'all said the inside fighting is better now. So, uh what should I be doing to uh work on the inside fighting that is better all of a sudden? Um, I'm gonna try the patch. Yeah, but that Joe Cal stat can't be right. Dre made a YouTube video channel about Naki. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The mo the moment you do that, Dre, I swear I'm making a I'm making a queen I'm making a queen Dre youtube video queen dre i'm telling you bro i'm putting you out there queen dre for the win i'm gonna title it king dre but then i'm gonna say queen dre the whole time so we get the right guy <laughs> and then i'm gonna go on youtube and i'm gonna steal all your clips and repost them on YouTube from where was it from Taiwan from from the Philippines I'm gonna repost it and I'm gonna pretend like I'm you until you catch me <laughs> okay all right uh, <laughs> I haven't even been fighting this guy at all. None, bro. <laughs> this is funny. He, yeah, he quit, bro. I think he no he noticed that I wasn't fighting him. He was just like, "What the fuck's going on here?" He's like, "This guy is not fighting." <laughs> I got, I won the three rounds. I was not paying attention to this guy whatsoever. I was 
I was reading what y'all were saying and barely fighting whatsoever. And this dude was like, you know what? Fuck this. He worked a 12-hour shift to come home for me to be toying, to be toying with him. I'm sorry, bro. I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. I am sorry. I did not mean to be disrespectful. We're going to go back into this next fight with a little with a little bit more respect. Any sauce? Man, I don't know. I don't know. They didn't seem there's not that much to the patch, bro. There's not that much to the patch. <laughs> There's not that much to the patch. Oh my god. You want me to use Tommy? Ah, all right, you want me to use Tommy? I'll use Tommy. I'm gonna I'm use Tommy's trait, bro. Shit, what they say Tommy got? Smoking left hook? Bro, I'm finna drop somebody with this motherfucking left hook, bro. I'm finna put it on the head. That's what Tommy got, the left hook. Boy, I'm finna dump somebody. Yo, Tommy got hooks like a motherfucker. Hey, man, Tommy Tommy is underrated in the bitch. He got an 84 overall, but those motherfucking stats right there say 90. Those stats right there say 90. He got an 80 over, 84 overall, but those stats right there say he a 90 fighter. Everything but his agility or his mo his movement speed it might be a little bit of a problem. Oh, I, s I see where this guy's got a problem. I see where his problem is. This guy, I see where his problem is. <laughs> nah. He don't punch slow. I see exactly what his problem is, Tank. And and Tank, this is something that that I was going that I was going to talk to you about the sauce. You know what I'm saying? I just been a little bit uh, I just been a little bit you know not wanting to tell you the sauce because you kicked my ass in the tournament. So I don't want to tell you shit until I until I whoop your ass in the tournament. Tommy the Duke Morrison. Then, what the fuck? At 101.2 kilos. And he'll have a reach of 190. You kick my ass centimeters. in the tournament, so I don't want to say facing nothing. Tommy the Duke Morrison. What's... He weighed in at 223 pounds and has a reach. I got of a 76... challenge. He said, "I got my notebook already." <laughs> <laughs> That's all. It's gonna be a heavyweight today. Yeah. Yo, why does his character animation, he looks so, he looks, he looks funny. I don't know. His mo, his mo, his character, his body build looks weird. He, he looks, he looks fake. The way they did it, like, this is the most, one of the most fakest looking fighters. Like, why does he look like this? The other fighters have more realism. They got more. Yeah, he looks very plastic. The other fighters have more. Uh, he looks like a fucking Ken doll, bro. Yeah, this this character looks like he's got low graphic fidelity <laughs> he's a minecraft character <laughs> yeah he does look like a street fighter Rocky beat him already. He washed. Okay, okay, okay. Gosh. <laughs> Ken from Street Fighter. <laughs> A 
this looks um well you see that big ass vein in his neck bro god damn he had a big ass vein in his neck Which I mean, no more running. They they took the running out the game. I don't. What you talking about? You can't run no more. They, they I didn't see nothing about about the running. They slow. They they didn't they didn't slow down loose loose movement. What you talking about? Some no more running. <laughs> nah, sauce bending over? Nah, bro. Sauce bending ain't never over. Sauce bending is over when I go to sleep. That's when the sauce bending is over. When I wake up, sauce bending is on, bro. It's on. We stop sauce bending when I die. Till then, sauce bending forever. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> Hell no, nah, bro. That's not even a question, bro. I can't believe you even rewrote that shit. That's why that's why I didn't even that's why I didn't even uh I didn't even acknowledge that shit. That wasn't even a real sentence. You said a you said a fake a fake sentence, bro. That's fake news. Fake sentence. I'm doing good, bro. What was you talking about, Eli? You said you could show me what? I'm confused. Y'all saying the running is over with. I'm trying to figure out where. Yo, thank you for the follow, uh, uh, Flam MX. Thank you for the follow. What? How was the? How was the running over? And how is there a new way to pressure? Everything still looks the same to me. Everything looking the same. I'm trying to see, am I missing something? I didn't see nothing that changed. Slow it down for me, y'all. Y'all know I'm a little bit slow. They change the changes they did is easier to front foot fight. I'm I'm slow now. What why is it easier to front foot fight? Why? Because of the block? The block made it easier to front foot fight? What made it easier? You're not scared of the back straight no more? That's what made it easier to front foot fight? You're not scared of getting hit in the mouth with the back straight? Now I'm trying to figure out what exactly what exactly do you feel is beneficial to front foot fighting? Backs up straight and the block feels a little stiffer on the back foot at least. I thought so. I've been fighting front foot all morning. I haven't lost once. Oh yeah, yeah. They didn't they didn't mention that. That wasn't in the patch notes, but I did see that that some of y'all said you got the stamina down to 13%. 
So, so what's up with that? That wasn't in the patch notes. Have y'all seen the health go lower than 20%? Finally done with commercials. So have you got, how low have you seen the health and the stamina actually go? Now nah, there will be a, a offline story mode or career mode. There will be an offline career mode. They just been trying to get the game balanced. They've been trying so hard to get the game balanced and get the community to stop crying and stop being so mad about about the balancing of the game. They've been trying real hard. Well, you definitely want to buy it before it goes on sale because right now you can get it for less than $30. But if you wait till the game actually releases, I promise you this game is going to be a 60 plus dollar game. It's $23. You might as well spend your little 23 bucks, bro. You stay, man, I know I know where you stay, bro. It's expensive as hell out there. You might as well spend that little, 20, that little $23, bro. You might as well spend it. And don't even play the game. Just spend it and just keep it, you know, to the side. Just go ahead, yeah. Just go ahead and spend that little twenty-three dollars. Keep it to the side, and then I'll let you know when it's time to play. Just come back to the to the stream, and I'll be like, yeah, it's time to pick the game up. Yeah, I'm I'm judging. I know you. I know it costs money to live where you stay. It costs money. So, so you might well spend that little twenty-three dollars. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't I didn't tell you that you have the money. I just say it costs money. And I said you might well spend that $23 cuz it costs. <laughs> Don't you call me well off. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Motherfucker try to give you a compliment, they get mad. <laughs> Mad in the motherfucker. What you say? You say I'm doing good? Man, that's some bullshit. Don't tell everybody I'm doing good. In a group of in a group of people. You gonna sell you gonna tell everybody I'm doing good in the motherfucking group. Alright, bet. Bet. <laughs> what you gonna do? Bet. I'm gonna tell them how nice your motorcycle is, BZ. I'm gonna tell them you got a nice motorcycle. <laughs> We gonna start. We gonna start a compliment war. You gonna be mad as hell because somebody complimented you. Oh, oh, you wanna compliment me? Oh, okay. We gonna talk about you. That's just always my selling point for the game, bro. <laughs> 2,000 rupees. I felt so offended. That's always my selling point for the game, bro. People ask me, hey, should I buy this game? And I'll be like, look, man, have you ever had $30? If you ever had $30 and you didn't buy this game, you wasted your money. That's that's what I like to say. If you had thirty dollars and you didn't buy this game, you you wasted your thirty dollars. Like you can't remember what you did with the last thirty dollars you had. If you can't remember what you did with your last thirty bucks, then you know you fucked up, bro. You should have bought the game. Oh, the judges adjusted a little bit. Yeah, see, the, the, those patch notes seemed very light. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like they wasn't telling the truth on everything. Like, they got some hidden shit. Seemed like they got some hidden shit in these, in these patch notes. I'm just saying. It, it wasn't... That wasn't very detailed, bro. Yeah. Uh, what what do they call that shit in the patch notes? The shit that they don't say? 
uh, soft changes or some shit like that. They got some different changes. Yeah. So that off the top. Clearly, if you said the stamina goes below tw uh, 22% or whatever, then uh, then clearly, you know, that should have been addressed in the patch notes. <laughs> well well uh mota just to be clear mota just to be clear unavailable try again uh this is not a fighting game that's why i actually happen to be decent at this game because it is not a fighting game it is a boxing game so i'm decent at it uh fighting games i suck i'm terrible you won't catch me uh piecing up nobody in Mortal Kombat, bro. You will catch me, you will catch me on the shitty side of the stick in Mortal Kombat. But in this boxing game, you know what I'm saying? I got hands. <laughs> he said he got beat so bad you uninstalled. Oh man. That's oh man, you're gonna have to come to the salt to the sauce bender school, bro. You, you got hope here on the boxing game. You got hope, but you got to come to the school of sauce. You got hope. I'll make sure you're not free 99, bro. I'll make sure you ain't free 99. But after that, you know, you're going to have to do your own work. <laughs> it's my time to shine. I could tell you I could tell you right now, Eli, I could see uh if you notice me doing some certain things, um I could tell you right now there's going to be somewhat of a meta change uh based off of the defense, based off of how the chin is tucked right there. It gives you limited limited places to strike. And uh and with that being said, with there being limited places to strike, the counter punches that that you're going to be able to throw off of this tuck and a person going uh, a skilled fighter, the punches that the punches that you're supposed to throw off the body block guard are. You heard it here first, guys. The punches that you're supposed to throw. The punches that you're supposed to throw based off of this guard are vulnerable punches. You heard it here first, guys. Vulnerable punches. So they they have they have by putting this guard in the game, they have made offensive fighters extremely vulnerable if you want to land a punch this is a very this is an ex a crazy defensive stance right here that you're able to do this defensive stance and uh by staying in this defensive stance you're gonna force the opponent the opponent to throw a vulnerable punch and uh brooklyn zoo uh i always have to put the zoo in there you know because that's the wu-tang shit brooklyn zoo uh so the punches that you need to throw to penetrate this defense are going to be vulnerable punches um is everybody going to throw those vulnerable punches uh not not today they won't but give it about a month give it about a month and uh people will start throwing those vulnerable punches and what's going to happen when you throw those vulnerable punches is you're going to start seeing a lot of people getting knocked out you're going to see a lot of people getting knocked out bro
Uh, and people are gonna be asking why. I can t I can see it right now. People are gonna be asking why am I getting knocked out? What's going on? Why, 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 why? There's gonna be a lot of whys. And that's because they didn't, that's because the way the game was set up prior to this, you could go a long period of time fighting without being vulnerable. That's why you didn't see so many flash KOs because you could fight an entire fight without throwing vulnerable punches and win. But by adding that the block the way it is, now you're going to have to resort to going to vulnerable punches and people are going to start getting knocked out. That's what's going to that's what's going to trigger people getting knocked out. So at the NBK camp, so at the NBK camp, man, shut up. Shut up, Jay. Shut up, Jay. At the you know what? You're not you're not you're not everybody else in the NBK camp. I'll tell them why they get in flash KO, but I'm not going to tell Dre. I'm not going to tell Dre. I'm going to let him figure it out. I'm going to let his ass get flashed a little bit. Not the good flash neither. Not a not a titty flash, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the I can I can see flash KO flash KOs are coming because of this block. Shit, this game won't come out of early access until fucking 2027, bro. Nah, <laughs> 2027. You're you're more likely to see flying cars. Nah, I'm fucking around. <laughs> Yo, man. To get ready to move everything in the living room, bro. It's all, it's all, it's all right. It's all right, Dre. Man, I will buy your plane ticket, man. Who you, you, you coming by yourself or you bringing the family, man? I will, I will pay, I will pay for the gas for the car ride down here so that you could get beat up and y'all can have that silent ride back home, that quiet ass ride back home. Joe said he had two flash KOs this morning. So, so, so Joe, smoking Joe, can I ask you, I'm going to ask you a question. Why do you think you got those flash KOs? What was the, what was the setup? What was the reasoning that, that, uh, the flash KO came? Why did it happen? Was it because the guy was just a bad fighter or what kind of trap did he get did he get stamina okay okay so yeah this is gonna happen it's it's definitely gonna happen because of this block because of this block is is the reason why because he's smoking joe because of this block this block is gonna cause a lot of flash ko's it's gonna cause some problems People don't understand vulnerability and they don't understand how the stamina works. But luckily, I got a good taste of how the stamina works because I fought a guy named King Dre that blocks, that blocks like 800 punch, punches a fight. So I got a really good understanding of you cannot punch at somebody's guard a thousand punches and think that you're gonna break through. I got a real good understanding of that by fighting the most defensive old school fighter the world has ever produced. 
Dre will block his ass off. And you cannot win fights in this game by attacking somebody's guard. If you think you can, you are foolish. It will not work. Trust me, I tried it. We just gonna we just gonna put that sauce out there right now. The only the only person I I'll go ahead and tell you the only person you could beat by attacking their god their their guard not their god uh, is somebody like uh the only person you can attack their guard and like beat them like that is somebody like Gotti Gotti or uh. What's the other guy's name? Mickey Ward? Somebody like Gotti or Mickey Ward would be like one of the only guys that you could break guard and actually win a fight. Said thoughts on the update? Um, so my thoughts on the update, I'll tell you right now, my thoughts on the update is um this is a this is another good update. I'm gonna I'm gonna start right there. From what I see right now, this is a good update. This update is another update that um, increases the skill gap. This is a skill gap update, and these are the type of updates that I want to see come out in this game. Updates that that uh, change the skill gap. That's what I want to see in this game. And this is a this is an update that increases the skill gap from new players to veteran players. You're going to have to know how to fight to win a fight. You're going to have to know how. So, uh that's my initial reactions is um I like it. I like it. Um even though the defense, and this is the problem that I have, the defense is more automated than than ever before. It was already automated. Now it's even more automated. But with the defense being the way it is, you have to be smarter offensively. So that makes it that makes the skill gap even greater like huge it inc it continuously is increasing the skill gap so what you're going to see is you're going to see you're going to see fighters that are like new people when i say what you're going to see you're going to see new people they're that are going to go either one or two ways they're going to be a turtle fighter they're going to be somebody that that's heavy block and they just guard 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 or you're going to see somebody that's offensive and they somewhat have an idea about how to break somebody's guard. Somewhat. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see heavy defense or uh, selective offense. But you're more than likely going to see heavy defense because it's easy. You're going to see heavy defense for new fighters because they don't know how to attack. Heavy defense is what you're going to see. It's funny, you're going to see heavy defense because they don't know how to attack. And the guys that do know how to attack will attack, but they will be susceptible to losing to somebody with heavy defense because they won't realize that they're vulnerable. Offensive fighters won't realize that they're vulnerable until it's too late, until they get knocked out. And they're going to say, why did I get knocked out? That's what you're going to see. So it might be a lot more complaining. Still City might get more complaining, bro. More complaining than what they than what they thought they were going to get. Okay. 
But that's just that's just uh yeah <laughs> yeah they're yeah, they're gonna complain because the problem is is that the people that are complaining they don't they're complaining because they don't have the answers that's the reason why they're complaining they're complaining because they don't know and still city is not putting out they're not putting out a a pamphlet a book on how to fight they're not they're not still until still city puts out a guide a manual on how this boxing game is supposed to work they're going to consistently get a lot of crying that's what they're going to get because if you're not able to go to a pamphlet and read this is why this is why this is why this is why unless somebody tells them why they're gonna cry and i can and i can 100 i can 1000 percent say that i was one of those guys when i picked up this game i didn't know shit about boxing I was trying to figure it out. I was playing this boxing game like it was Street Fighter, and I was crying my ass off on why, 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 and I kept playing until I figured it out. Not everybody is going to keep playing the game like like I did and question everything. Not everybody's going to do that. They're going to cry for a week or two, and they're going to uninstall this shit, put up a bad review, and go on about their life. <laughs> you on the inside celebrating? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say right now what I'm uh what I think is that I, I see people gonna be like ultra defensive. That's what I see. People are gonna go to be an ultra defensive and you know, I think the pace of the game is gonna slow down. I think that's what's gonna happen. Now that people can block like this, the pacing of the game is gonna slow down. I could be wrong, but I think people are gonna slow down naturally. With, with the new block. All right, I'll use Nigel. Yeah, I, I think, I think, uh, if the pacing of the game doesn't slow down, I think that, um, I think you're gonna see a lot more people gas out. You're gonna you're gonna see people gassing. They're gonna gas out more because they're having they're gonna they're gonna have a hard time with the block. Yo, uh, crucial. Thank you for the uh, raid, bro. I know you raided me like nine minutes ago. Thank you for the raid, crucial. I think you're gonna see a lot more people gas out, bro. Yeah, they're they're gas they're gassing out because of the block. That's the reason why they're gassing out because of the block. Uh, I I realized that 
believe it or not, like we say, we got our very own block machine inside of the MBK group. His name is King Dre. He's the block machine. And he was blocking at a high clip before they fixed the block. He was he was blocking before they fixed the block. And I fought him, obviously. I fought King Dre. And the, that was the first thing that happened to me. Uh, me thinking that I was going to easily beat him up because I had been playing the game for a while and he hadn't. I went into the fight and I started swinging at him like crazy. Like this guy is not King Dre is not going to be able to fuck with me at all. And I gassed out. That's the first thing that happened. I went into a fight with him and it went the whole 12 rounds. I gassed out because, because of block. <laughs> Yo, Joe looks funny as fuck, bro. Why is neck so long? He <laughs> look funny as hell. <laughs> he really look funny. I uh, no cap, no cap. He look funny.
the slips it's actually more effective it definitely seemed faster uh, on that last slip i just did it seemed like it reacted like hella fast i haven't used slips in a long time but it definitely seemed faster I was trying to put it in there, but it wasn't. Sometimes it's not. There we go. Sometimes it's not coming out. Yo, did he just stand switch me? Yeah, I thought he stand switched me for a second. I was like, yo, what the fuck? If you duck to the right, it actually can slip the one, two, three. So, uh, pretty quick. Um, it's good, man. The patch is all right. There's not too much to fuss about, bro. There's nothing to be mad about. There's only things to be happy about. Unless you're a fan of Southpaw fighters that that were using the uh the fast uh power right straight. That's about it. That's the only thing to be mad about if you if you like that power right straight as a southpaw fighter. Or if you were big on the back step straight, you know, that that might piss you off. But outside of that, there's everything here is all positive. All positive. Nothing to fuss about so far. I think all the fixes that came through were uh, the fixes that that people in the community wanted. They got what they asked for. They wanted this stuff, they got it. <laughs> just run so uh I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna test out the uh the the stamina thing this fight i'm actually gonna try to knock this guy out so we're gonna see what happens let me see if i can knock him out
Is it just is it just me or does it feel like some of the the movement is a little different? Like it seems like some of the animation, the way the the fighters step, it feels like their feet are a little bit different. Any update other than the man man new fighters? Uh, it's very very minimal updates. Uh, CEO very uh very little up updates. Iron Man. At least very little updates that were written actually written on the patch notes. Very little updates that are officially on the patch notes. Yeah, he definitely leaking, bro. He definitely leaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he bleeding out that thing. That what I make him do. Like you see you see the way we're fighting right now it seems like our movements are a little strange you notice the way that I'm moving the way the the fighters reacting to me he's he's moving a little I don't know if it's just Joe or if it's me or what but I noticed like the way the camera is moving the way the fighters moving seems a little strange Oh, I'm tripping. He is a southpaw, huh? Joe's a southpaw? Fuck, I just, I just now realized it. I was like, wait a second. This dude's moving weird as fuck. He's a southpaw. I've been fighting this guy wrong the whole time, bro. I was like, yo, but hey, if that's the case, yo, the punch tracking is better. The punch tracking is better. I can hit this guy with the right hook. I don't, if th I don't know if this guy is a new fighter. Or if they fix the punch tracking. But the reason why I didn't notice it because the right hook is connecting. Is this, is this guy a new fighter? Yo, what's, what's up, Kerms? 
I didn't see I didn't see this guy's stats, but if he's a new fighter, then that's why. If he isn't, then I complete I completely under uh if he isn't a new fighter, then some of the punch tracking is better. If you notice, I'm able to land the right hook. Which that shit didn't happen. The way these punches are landing did not happen with the Southpaw fighter uh, prior to this patch. Ah, it covers it because there'd be some stream snipers up in this thing, bro. They'd be looking, they'd be looking, trying to trying to figure out what I'm doing. I can tell you right now, it seems like they fixed the punch tracking on uh, Orthodox versus Southpaw. But I can't, I don't know for sure, uh, just based off of this guy's skill level. I don't know for sure. But all my punches are landing on a southpaw, which is crazy. Oh shit, thank you for the follow. I mean for the uh for the sub. Uh thank you for the sub, Trey Quick. That's crazy. Yeah, I think they I think they finally fix this southpaw problem And this guy's already completely gassed out. So that tells me a couple things here. I think that at least the uh, the punch tracking is definitely it definitely works against Joe. The punch tracking work against Joe. I don't know if it works against all southpaws, but the punch tracking works correctly against Joe. I can see that he's gassed out already. So I'm gonna go check on something else after the fight. I'm gonna check on something else. God damn, he caught that motherfucker straight in the kisser, bro. Straight in the kisser. He don't even want to get up, bro. He don't even want to. He like, fuck it, I can't fight. All right, so I seen, I seen two things there. The, the punch tracking works on Southpaws, or at least on Joe. The punch tracking works on Joe. It works it works really good. I remember people saying that they they felt like there was like a force field in between the two fighters, like they couldn't touch. I was noticing it, and I didn't even realize that he was a southpaw. I was like, "Yo, man, why is the fighter moving differently?" I noticed that the feet placement was working better, and that the punches were landing better. I was like, "Yo, something's weird." So they did something with that force field 
and the way that the the punch tracking works and the feet the angles they did something with it okay so his stamina was at 28 percent Okay, so something else I want to check. So we seen that his stamina was at 28%. Oh, my bad. Oh, I I, I definitely was working his body, definitely. Um, but but that had more to do with punch tracking. Oh, I didn't see what level that guy was. What level was he? Was he like a level one or was he like a level 30? I didn't see. Um, he was a 27. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. Uh... So yeah, okay, wow, wow. I'm looking, I'm looking at his stats right here. Okay, that's very surprising. That's very surprising. So that guy didn't he didn't attack my body. I attacked his, and some of the stat some of the things that I just saw right there was very, very surprising. So We got us a fellow Twitch streamer. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to beat him up today. So I think they did a lot of tweaking the southpaws. I'm just gonna put that out there. I think they tweaked the southpaws a lot. Oh, I like this this fight. It's a night like a night arena or some shit like that. This is cool. I like fighting in the dark. The step back straight is still going to be dangerous. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to leap in with the step back straight. It's still dangerous. You could still double pump it fairly safe fairly safely. You just can't like triple pump it. But you could double pump it safely. Step back straight is very dangerous. I'm going to say it's dangerous, but you can't like throw 700 step back straights and win a match by only throwing step back, step back straights. You won't be able to win a match by only throwing step back straights, but it is still a very dangerous punch.
Unfor unfortunately, our boy Canelo is still not on the meta. Canelo is still not on the meta list. I didn't see anything that will help improve me me Melo's, uh, Nello's meta, bro. He is still not... He is still going to be hard to pilot. Canelo is still going to be extremely hard to pilot. I don't see anything that's going to help Canelo. Outside of maybe some some a little bit of punch tracking buffs, I don't really see anything helping Nello out. I like the way this guy is using Nello though. I like I like what he's doing. So I'm betting I'm going to gas out this Nello here pretty soon. And he's hitting me to the stomach as well. He's hitting me to the body. Uh, I haven't noticed anything too crazy just yet. I'm looking for the rubber band. Um, you absolutely feel the body defense if you use it. Yeah, you can feel it. The, bo the body defense is in the game for sure. Uh, I'm looking for the rubber band is what I'm looking for right now. And I don't see any rubber banding just yet. Which that's something they may have, uh, they may have taken out of the game, bro. And if they took in the, if they take the, if they took the rubber band out the game, you guys are gonna notice it. I'm looking for the rubber band and I, I'm not feeling it just yet. Actually, I think I think it's coming. The rubber band's gonna gonna show up next round. Well, they have some, uh, they've been playing with the stamina bar a whole lot in the game. They said they're going to continue to tweak it and they have a, they have a thing in the game where you can you can feel they have like a stamina control type thing in the game and you can feel it kick in
and it feels like a rubber band like there's resistance to stamina basically it feels like a rubber band so I'm trying to see uh, trying to see if it's still in here Like the jab has 90 damage and hooks are 91 maybe 87 for the jabs and 91 for the hooks so yeah um, that would just have to do with the fighter itself certain fighters have better jabs certain fighters have better hooks that would have to be an individual fighter thing like Roy Jones is dangerous with the hook um, Sugar Ray Leonard is dangerous with the jab. If you use the fighters properly. I'm just trying to I'm I'm feeling it out. Yo, uh thank you for the follow. Crow Crow Obar. Crow Obar. It's about time someone put out a boxing game for PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It's been out it's been out for a little bit, for a couple months. What about three months now? Three three full months? Four full months? It's been out for a minute. Three or four months. They're putting a lot of work into it too, man. They're putting a lot of work into it. Hey, how have y'all guys been feeling about connection issues? Have you noticed any connection issues? How do you feel? Because clearly they didn't say everything that they put into the patch. They clearly did not give out full patch notes. <laughs> they took it off the screen. <laughs> That's a good one, Dre. That's like how they took the hit indicator off the screen. They're just like, fuck it. If you can't see it, then you don't know.
Man, y'all guys are professional trollers. Professional. You should be proud at how at how well you've you've learned to troll. Yo, thank you for the follow, Egypt, Egyptian. Is that it? Egyptian? Egyptian? I don't know what that is. Thank you for the follow, 22. Have you seen the new Roy Philly rework? No, I have not. I didn't know. They reworked. What? See, that wasn't in the patch notes either. They reworked Roy? They clearly did not put everything in the patch notes. I've gotten hella good at this game. We should run it sometime. Yeah, I'll fight you. I'll fight you, uh, Jepson. I got no problems. Man, I think they I think they did take the fucking lag off the screen, bro. I bet they did. <laughs> I bet it's not up there, man. Cuz I swear I should have knocked that boy out. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, come check me out, bro. Uh whenever whenever you get the chance uh jepson come check me out man i'm on here fighting all the time bro got you to follow i'm on here fighting all the time holla at me What happened? The dude just quit, bro? Come on now. He just said fuck it and quit. Last I played was last night. How was the update? What did they do? Man, they just increased the defense, Jepson. Uh the defense is increased. They tweaked some of the fighters a little bit. Um They they tweaked all the southpaws so they don't have that, that fast uh power straight. They took the fast power straight away from all the all the southpaws, uh, they slow down the back straight. They slow that down. You can't just spam the back straight no more. Um, <laughs> I 
We was definitely lagging that fight, bro. Definitely lagging. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm sh yeah, I think they fixed all the uh all the power moves that came out really fast in the southpaw. They fixed all that shit. Yeah, undercut, uppercut, yeah. They fixed all that shit, bro. The southpaw moving too fast, they fixed that. We'll give Roy a look. We'll give Roy a look. Yo, Spook, who the fuck did you knock out with a jab, bro? It said you got a knockout with two in the eighth round with two jabs? Fuck out of here. You you knock somebody out with a jab? I thought I thought they said that you couldn't knock anybody out with a jab. I thought that was like a thing. Oh, you rocked them with the jab. That's crazy. Yo, thank you for the follow, Wise World Universe. Wise World Universe, thank you for the follow. What's up, gang? How was the update been looking for other people? Play this. Um, I think it's a good update, man. Um, off the top, which is which is really good, man. Cause uh, the last update when it came through, I was not a fan. I was, it took me about a good week or two to start liking the previous update. And over time, uh, I can't I came to really love it because it produced a skill gap, and this is another skill gap uh, update. It's producing another level of a skill gap. And anything that they add to the game that creates a skill gap, I think, is a good a good move for boxing for this game. I think all I think anything that they put into the game moving forward, it it can't be something of like, oh, it's easy to use. It has to produce skill gaps. <laughs> what's up angles i did the same thing bro i woke up to like you know five ten text messages and stuff you know the boys is is letting me know everything everything that's going on i did not try the new fighters bro i only tried one new fighter which is the heavyweight the heavyweight fighter tommy tommy gun that's the only fighter i tried that was new I wasn't really ish interested in any of the new fighters. I didn't really care for them. <laughs> I see what you're talking about. Uh, Roy has his shoulder up really high and it makes his body look goofy as fuck.
Yeah, somebody was saying me they felt. I think it was Eli was telling me he felt like the judges, uh, they may have they may have made some uh, changes to the judges and they didn't put that in there as well. I feel like there's a they did some hidden changes and they did not put it in the patch note. Obviously, the way Roy Jones' shoulder is, I don't believe that's in the patch note. So there's a lot of hidden changes. That was different too. Um, Roy, yeah, you see Roy. Roy's shoulder is really weird. How he does that? How he pops that shoulder up now? That's pretty strange. Um, what I'm noticing right now as well is Roy Jones has a good lead uppercut, which he did not have. Uh, he's got a good lead body uppercut. Um, he did not have that. So that's, that's different. I don't know, I don't know why they changed that. His lead body uppercut used to be slow as fuck and now he can throw a fast one. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think Roy Jones having a fast lead body uppercut is like a good thing. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, that that Amari nerf is huge, but most people don't like a uh, con. They don't like middleweight con for some reason. I hear a lot of people say middleweight con, oh he's trash. But I used it. Um It is huge though for the people that did use it. For the people that thought it was trash, well, he's definitely trash now. Um, <laughs> there you go. That that definitely is a is a real thing, right there, Angles. That is a real thing. Uh, it does put it does put uh Robinson back on top. That is a real thing. Puts. Robinson uh, makes him the man again as uh, the welter, the welter fighter. Robinson is the man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what his base, what is his uh, Khan's base speed before the lightning hands? What is his base speed at? His base speed is 97? Nah, what 95 in Welter? That's that's still hella fast. 95 is fast as fuck.
there still is pretty heavy rubber banding in the game I can see that now the rubber band is still in the game <laughs> when are they gonna fix the connection bro you got four new fighters and three new venues yo thank you for the follow triple og <laughs> you got four new fighters three new venues and they fixed the southpaws be happy rejoice <laughs> nah, Loma was in the game on the last patch, Triple OG. Uh, I guess if you were a Southpaw lover, they fixed the uh the power straight out of the Southpaw and the power uppercut. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking well fortunately for me i don't have to give you an answer to that question i did not watch the fight so i can't tell you who won the fight He said, watch it three times, then make your decision. <laughs> All right, roger that, roger that. I'm going to watch it one time in slow motion. It's going to feel like three times. Shoulder is way too up and skinny on the left shoulder. Yeah, skinny as fuck, bro. I'm a fan of all boxers and I love to study styles. To me, it was hella close, but Loma come, come on the late in the match. I would, I would have gave it a draw. How's it going right now? It's going good, Eli. It's going good. I'm just fooling around, tooling with it, tooling with it. That dude is trash, bro. He's like a 70-something overall, but I'll pick him. <coughs> oh wow. I've already got I've already got Canelo gassed in the fifth round. So you're gonna start seeing this, bro. You're gonna start seeing a whole lot of gassed fighters uh angles. I can tell you that right now. The defense is so good, fighters are gassing out.
Hello? Yeah, that right there, bro. You're going to start seeing a lot of that. Um, gassed out fighters. The defense is too good. Gassed out in the fifth round. I do believe there may have been some tweaking. Title, new update, the last minute. <laughs> hey, there we go. I do believe there might have been some tweaking, bro. Um, I'm not there. I see the simulation. I'm not too sure about the rubber band. I can feel it, but I'm not too sure if it pulls a fighter back into the fight anymore. I'm not very sure about that. Um, I didn't get this guy's stamina down to the end to below like normal numbers. I don't think, I don't think I got it too low. 19% is pretty low. Um, I feel like his health probably should have been a little bit lower. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, you see this. Uh, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Give me one second, guys. I'm bringing in the groceries in the house. Give me one second. I'm going to help my wife out. Put it on. Be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Um, I gotta go pick up my daughter from school in a second. But uh, yeah, so yo, me, me and Angles, we're gonna let Angles get a few fights in on this, uh, on the new patch today. Uh, today or tonight or whenever he gets a chance and maybe uh, let's say like maybe tomorrow me and me and angles are gonna do a uh, um, we'll do like a co-stream or like a co-talk or something like that and we're, we're gonna share our thoughts on uh, on the patch and how it's affecting uh, the gameplay and uh, how it's affecting the style of the game and everything and if we think you know if we think it's a uh, better or worse all that you know feelings thoughts what we've seen in the past what we see in the future we're gonna do something like that i'm gonna try to put together a little a little commentary for y'all um Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely want a filling out period. That that way that way uh You picking on the video? Oh uh, yeah. That way we can give some uh some some honest opinions. Uh what they gave in the patch notes uh clearly isn't isn't all that they changed in the game. That clearly they changed more things than uh stated in the patch notes um let me see here I don't know, I can never find the patch notes like when I want to find them real quickly. Oh, here they are. Ah, shit. Fucking A. Alright, here we go. Just click on that. So things like uh, there's no mention of them changing uh, Roy Roy Jones. There's no mention of them changing Roy Jones's uh, shoulder in his Philly stance. There's no mention of that uh, here in the past in the patch notes, but there's clearly been a change. Right. I could I could see that angles. I could see that. But yeah, there's no mention of that, but there's clearly been a change to Roy. Um It seems like there may have been a slight change to the to the overall um way stamina works. I thought the punches uh I thought the punches uh registered are better. Um thank you for the follow uh Dbot GF. Thank you for the follow. Um but the body uppercut is easily it's easily blockable now because they've they fixed the block. So why not spam it if you have a proper block um, so so I'm just gonna chat right now I 
I thought the whole I thought what most people um speaking directly to what what you're talking about, Jay Surge, I thought most people were mad about the lead body uppercut because they couldn't block it from coming through the center of the guard. Because when your normal bodyguard is wide open like this and the lead body uppercut comes through the center and people are like, I can't block it. So that's why they were pissed off. Not the range of it. I thought it was simply because they want to do this. I thought that was the the main the main uh, reasoning of of the block. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, we'll we'll uh, go back to the protest booth. And uh, and protest the range of the lead body uppercut. See if they can uh, patch that in there as well. We'll go back and uh, and protest it. Um, I felt I only had one fight against a southpaw fighter, and that was the new guy, uh, Joe. I'll just call him Joe Cow, and uh, and. What I experienced fighting against the Southpaw was uh, um, the punches registered way better than I've ever felt the punches register in the game. They've punched, they've punched, uh, the punches uh, registered way better than they've ever had before versus a Southpaw. I didn't feel that invisible force field in between the fighters i noticed that their feet the the fluid movement of the fighters was slightly different something was going on with their footsteps and how they lined up and i was able to successfully uh land a right hook to the southpaw fighter um way more often at a higher clip I was able to just throw that right hook and it would connect. So they did some type of adjusting, at least to the fighter Joe. I didn't fight Sergio or anybody else. I only had one fight against the Southpaw. And I didn't even realize he was a Southpaw until like the 8th or the 10th round. That's how normal it felt. I knew something was off because the way the fighters was moving I was like yo they're moving really weird but my punches were landing so it didn't trigger me to think that he was a southpaw so uh that's that's a good thing Um, so yeah, I'm finna step out of here and, uh, go grab my daughter. It only takes me like 10 minutes to grab her. And then, uh, we'll go back to, uh, doing some more fighting and some, some more testing. But so far, man, uh, I think it's a good patch, you know, just like, I don't know. I probably only did like four to five fights. I think it's a good patch and I think they have increased the skill gap yet again and that's always good. Continuously increasing the skill gap is what is the main goal. I I understand that increasing the skill gap is the main goal of this boxing game. Definitely increasing the skill gap.
Sheesh, busy look at the SS I sent you, Joe Porter. All right, so I'll be right back. It'll take me like five, ten minutes to pick up this little girl. Be right back.
Micro. Going on the wall. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they gonna fill that wall up. Yeah. I'm back. What? <laughs> I'm still on the wall before I leave, okay? Okay. I'm trying to clean up for right here. I'm trying to organize my clothes. I like. Yep, so I don't think that you're gonna be ready by 5 o'clock, huh? I'll be ready by 5. You'll be ready by 5? We're not going to leave out of here until like 6, though, because of the traffic. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We'll leave out of here at 6. Okay. I'll have enough time. I think. I'll be ready. Sweet. I went to the store. I got trash bags. got tissue. got soap. They got dishwashing soap. They got deodorant. They got all that stuff, so. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna make this new guy. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can use him. He's the uh, the new George Davy. <laughs> nah, he's not the new George Davy, but he's damn close. Yep, he's the lowest fighter. The lowest fighter in lightweight, the weakest fighter. So let's see how he looks. Weakest fighter in lightweight versus the strongest fighter in lightweight. This this should be good. A level 48 versus a level 2. Look at his step back and his forward straight. The animation is so cool. Alright, the weakest fighter versus the strongest in lightweight. <laughs> I'd say Loma's the strongest in lightweight, right? I don't think anybody else is rated higher than Loma. <laughs> Eli, be quiet, bro. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> what in the hell is that?
Okay, so... Yeah, he's not horrible, man. Uh, he actually moves really well. So far, the punches that I've thrown, outside of that goofy forward straight, um, they, they seem pretty good. Yo, thank you for the follow, uh, Espinola... Ooh, I don't know how to say that. Es, Espinola Purasipi. Super. I don't know how you say that. Purus. Purus. Uh, def definitely not. I mean, in order for you to win a fight with this type of fighter, whoo wee, man. Talk about being on the back foot. You know what he, re he reminds me of? He fights like a Sugar Ray Leonard with no stats. He has good form. His, his punches, his jabs and everything, his step back straight, his hook. He fights like a Sugar Ray Leonard with no power, no stats, no traits. He moves like him and everything. He's, his, you know, his foot, his footwork isn't bad. He moves like the middleweight Sugar Ray Leonard, not the welterweight one. He moves like a middleweight Sugar Ray Leonard. Very good. He's got a wide stance. He steps very well. He jabs, jab punch, hook, you know, jab straight hooks are very nice. Uppercuts decent. The hook is the body hook is nice. He's a very weak Sugar Ray Leonard. If you could play Sugar Ray Leonard, you can play this fighter, which everybody can play Sugar Ray Leonard. So he's basically a Sugar Ray Leonard clone with terrible stats. He even has a decent chin uppercut. Do you think they still need to work on the defense or it's fine? I think the defense at this moment, I mean, this is my opinion. Anybody can stop me and tell me if I'm wrong. I think the defense at this moment is as good as it's going to get, man. I think it's as good as it's going to get. Um, any more alterations to the defense, I think... what would only result in negatives basically making like right now the defense is as automated it's as smooth it's as good as good as it's gonna get to the standpoint of like a new fighter coming into the game okay you could add a parry I, I guess you could call parry in the defensive category you could add a parry but as far as like defense being automated or whatnot this is as good as it's gonna get um outside of this you're only gonna make defense worse in my opinion I mean, you could make you could add new defensive stuff, but if we're talking about tweaking the same defense that we already have, you're only going to make it worse. If you add new concepts to the defense that we don't have, that's something totally different. But trying to tweak the defense that is already here any further, I think would only be a step back. You would only further complicate something that doesn't need to be complicated oh yeah 
What? Hey, you just see that? Landed the right hook, no problem. I think they fixed. They have fixed the barrier problem fighting against southpaw fighters. The hit, the hit registration against the southpaw fighter is per. Look at that. It's perfect. You can fight south southpaw fighters. It is perfect. It no longer feels broken. When I throw a right hook, it lands. What it do, BZ? How's it going? What's up, Raw? Fighting a southpaw no longer feels fucked off. I'm telling you, fighting southpaws prior to today was some BS, and everybody knows it. I can throw that right hook and it connects no problem. That's something they did not put in the patch notes. So there's gonna be some things as we fight, as we keep going, you're gonna see that it's in the game that were not in these patch notes. They did not say anything about, they said they were fixing the southpaws, um, you know, left hand with it being like super fast and all that. So clearly they did a lot of work on the southpaw. They did a lot of work on the southpaw. You can attack him like a proper fighter now. It's freaking amazing. The hit registration is legit. The punches are accurate. You can now fight a southpaw, no problem. No problem, the right hand doesn't stop right at the side of your face anymore. It now extends. No problem. And I believe it has something to do with the footwork. There, that invisible wall isn't isn't quite there, and I see the footwork is is um, different. Wow, that's how you that's how you feeling, bro. I get these trolls all the time. That's how you feeling. Yo, Raw Dizzy, do you get that? Did you get that in your stream or is it just me, bro? <laughs> is it just me? Okay, okay. I didn't want to feel like I was the only one, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Tank. Thank you. You know, you know, I was, you know, I wasn't even finna address that. I wasn't even gonna, I wasn't even gonna say nothing. I was gonna ignore him. <laughs> imagine that's what it looks like right there no imagination needed it looks just like that I get that I ain't gonna say I get it all the time but I definitely get it at least once a month if not more than once a month at least once a month
But I wouldn't say it's too bad because, you know, I guess if you, I say I get it at least once a month, but I probably, in the last three or four months, I probably stream like 250 hours a month, maybe like almost 300 hours a month, some crazy hours. With the amount of hours I'm actually on stream, I would say that's actually extremely low percentage. I'd say that's pretty that's a pretty extremely low percentage for the amount of time that I'm actually sitting on stream. Um, that's about as regular as it is if you go outside and run into somebody that uh Hey, congratulations, homie, congratulations. This is about as regular as running into one outside. Jesus. Three hundred. You put Mayweather to, you put Floyd Mayweather to. It's a shame, bro. Um, for for what little they did, I like it. I like it, Balrog. They didn't do a whole lot that I that I found out so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had a ton of losses when I first started playing the game, but that's how I learned. I had to go into rank to make sure that I was gonna learn something. And that's how I learned. So, and this record is is going is going away anyways. It's not like this is going to be a, for, a forever record. So I never cared about it. I never cared about it from the start. In fact, I thought that they were going to um that message has has always been up there that the records can reset at any time. So I assumed that the records would reset like weekly or monthly or something like that. And they have yet to reset not one time since the game pre-released back in February. Not one time has it resetted. And I assumed that it would reset like often. But I still don't care. Like that don't mean nothing to me. I don't mean nothing to me. I'm still gonna be cold out here. For everybody to see my 200 losses, like, ah, oh, yeah, he gonna be easy, boy. That was a lie. If anybody come into the ring and say BZ gonna be easy, that is a lie. And I'm getting better every fight, you know what I'm saying? Every fight. Every fight, the sauce been to getting better. You see me right, you see me right there, Eli? I got the right hook coming. You see me? I got the right hook. I mean, why well, I say the right hook, the right uppercut. I got the right uppercut coming. He just got, this dude's got bad aim, bro. <laughs> like, I'm missing him on the collarbone, bro. He got bad, he got bad aim like a motherfucker. I think you got caught by a right upper too. Yo, somebody give King Dre a, a 30 second timeout. <laughs> he 
He need to be quiet. He need to be quiet. I know black kids don't don't go to timeout. I need you to go put your nose uh in the corner behind the wall and stand on one foot. Put your nose in the corner. Stand on one foot. <laughs> He was a badass kid. The belt, we gotta go get a switch for him, man. And don't go outside and go get the switch. And don't go, don't get the little one neither. Give me a big switch. Pull out them leaves and stuff off that off that switch. And get no belt. Mess up a good belt. <laughs> Boy, your grandmama ever tell you that? Ooh wee! My grandma told me to go outside and get a switch off the tree. Nigga be crying. Boy, I be crying. Oh man, my head be down. I be oh, grandmama no, no no. I don't want to go get the switch. <laughs> Boy, you be dragging ass. You be dragging. I am not going. To, I do not want to get that switch. <laughs> Oh no. Anything but the switch. <laughs> and you still get your ass toe up. It don't matter what switch you bring back. Boy, that thing finna stain. Grandmama finna get you. And then you think you finna you finna get away, right? You a run by her like she ain't gonna catch you? You be like, yo, grandma ain't gonna catch me too. She too old for that. She ain't gonna catch me. You get to playing and bullshitting and everything. You sitting down watching Popeye the Sailor Man. And grandma catch your ass slipping. Whack. Wop, wop, wop. Fucked up your whole episode of Popeye, bro. You don't even remember what the fuck happened. That episode, Popeye didn't get no spinach, bro. <laughs> That episode, the Power Rangers, they didn't get to the Megazord, man. They didn't get to the Megazord. His back, his back step is all right. Bro, there ain't nothing wrong with it. This dude right here, he could technically win some fights, bro. This dude could win some fights. It would be hard. It would be hard, but this guy could win some fights. Like even though this guy is a level two, he's a new he's a new fighter. The guy I'm fighting, uh, this Twitch streamer is TT TTV Brycel Brycel right, bro. This guy right here could win some fights. No lie. It's funny. Cause he doesn't really he doesn't really step back on his right foot. He punches off of his let off of his lead foot, and he keeps his right foot in the air. I was just that asshole to keep punching you when you had to go to the door. 
this Twitch streamer had to go do something, and I just kept on punching him. So now he's pissed off. You see, he's throwing a lot of hooks. My bad, bro. I was an asshole. This dude's a Twitch streamer. He probably had to, you know... He had to do something. He was all tabbed or whatever, and I was just punching him. But, I mean, it's okay, bro. It's not like... It's not like I'm fucking Ray Robinson or something like that, bro. I got the worst fighter in the division. I didn't even hurt. I didn't even hurt this guy. I didn't even hurt Loma. This dude got no power. Yeah, I didn't hurt him at all, man. No reason to be mad. I ain't got no damage. <laughs> it's funny, I ain't got no damage, but he still ain't win no rounds. This dude is absolutely new. He's a Twitch streamer. It's absolutely his first fight. First or second fight. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down. Uh. One second. Let me fight this Loma real quick. We almost done. We only got one more round. Or two more rounds. But hell, I can call you right now in between this round. Yeah. <laughs> he about to get a sauce. Okay, let's give him the call. Right. Yo. Got the microphone. What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm just trying out. Um... Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting update. Yeah, right. They, they they didn't put everything in the in them notes. Um, I noticed on the block. You know how I do that. You know how I do that thing where I, I switch my bot my block to head to body like fast. Uh huh. They made it more. Uh, they made it look a little bit more slower. But I guess, I guess it's fine because it kind of conceals the the transition a little bit. Yeah. But um. It's a cool fix, I guess. And I don't know if you noticed, but not everybody's block is good. Like if you if you if you're watching my stream, yeah, this guy has a hole in his block. <laughs> he got a fucking hole right in the middle. Of his because shit. he has bad defense. Because he's a low rated. I wonder if they meant to do that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they meant to do that because he's a he's a low rated fighter. Fighters that have good defenses squeeze their, their hands all the way together. They don't have a hole. Yeah. That's that's definitely intentional. I'm about to see how... Uh, there's not even a way to... Feels. There's not even... Can I close it? I think I can close it the old school way. I can't really see. It looks like it's closed. Yeah. Yeah, once you if you lean with it, you can close it the old school way. Yeah. 
But if you if you just stand up like this, yeah. it's wide you open. Wanna, you don't want to block like that all the time, though. Well, nah. You, I mean, that <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the reason why everybody was crying about it, because this way you're yeah. you're stuck, your feet are stuck, and you can't like run away and block at the same time. Yeah. It's kind of weird because they they had a fix for the um, the back step cross supposedly, uh -huh. but they added they also added uh, something about the arm fatigue. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of, um, I was testing out doubling up on the back step, and it still works. So yeah, like, it does. That third punch is hella slow, but yeah. the back step is still dangerous. You could do two in a row, like in in yeah. flash somebody I was for sure. Two in a row. Yeah, I was very dangerous. Two in a row with Joe. Yeah, very dangerous. Um, I was I was just trying to like double triple up on the hooks kind of see where that's at because they basically what they said was it was worded funny it said that the fatigue is more of a a consistent fatigue I guess across all punches if you double up that second one's going to be a little slower and the third one's going to be a little slower so it's consistent oh yeah for sure so basically like if you have like a lightning hand style fighter and that first one comes out you know ultra fast that second one is probably gonna drop you into like the mid-tier fighter full speed yeah. and that third one you're gonna be slower than this dude uh adam right here yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get hit i can't believe they added him bro what the 71 overall bro that's nuts but he's not bad though you could win with this you could get some you could get some real uh, sp yeah. points yeah I'm, I'm pretty i'm pretty sure you could use him oh man this dude fights just like sugar ray leonard like literally he's a sugar ray leonard clone with no power that's funny as hell, man. yeah he's just got no power like if you get hit in the stomach you're gonna lose all your stamina but he's yeah, he's, he's he's a sugar ray leonard clone yeah, I like I like the AI fixes, but that's that's probably gonna come into play like career mode maybe. That's that's good news for career mode players. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, obviously we gotta have good good AI. Sooner or later, they that's that's a fit and finish polish for career mode. Yeah, the block the block transition is way less snappier. I mean, it, it's fine, but like. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing for my style of play, at least. But Sergio so far feels feels the same, I guess. But have you have you played against a Southpaw? No, I haven't. I'm playing against uh, Sugar Ray Leonard right now. I'm telling you, I'm playing against this guy right now. Like the hit registration has changed. They fix it. Nice. It is fixed. Like you can you can throw a right hook at the head of a southpaw at any time. It will connect. You don't get that you don't get that thing where your fist stops right at your nose. It, your your hand fully extends. Man, I don't I don't get why they don't add this stuff on the patch notes. They're probably thinking like, oh it's this is so in depth the, the normal player won't catch it, you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> Like what's up with that shoulder? That shoulder thing is still weird. With a it, it looks his shoulder looks deformed. RJJ. Yeah, I need to try another um, another Philly shell fighter and see if uh, if they do it as well. See if it's only RJJ. Yeah, I, th I think he's like the only real Philly shell fighter left in the game. Cause... I think Wilder, but I don't know if you'll be able to see his shoulder because he's well, orthodox. Uh... Oh, well, they're both orthodox, but. I don't think, yeah, Robin Reed. I don't think Robin Reed is orthodox or um, Philly Shell. They, he, they switched them back to normal. Yeah, he was originally a Philly Shell, and then they gave him like that half stance, that half Philly Shell. But they did this. Yeah. They did the same thing with with Wilder. He was originally <clears throat> a Philly Shell, and they gave him that that I don't know your arm. Yeah. Your arm is in a sling type position, like the arm sling. Not really a Philly Shell, but he just kind of holds his hand there. Yeah, Roy is the only one with with the Philly shell right now. Okay, Mikasin had it too. I never used that fighter, but I know exactly who you're talking about. I never use him. 
Yeah, making sin. I would I would understand if you had it. Okay, yeah, the sling, you kind of just kind of have your arm in that like L L position kind of just like right by your your stomach, like right over your ribs and like right by your uh <clears throat> I'm not sure if the uh, the southpaw punch speed is a nerf. It, it might be a buff. Well, it was on... You, you know, uh, Sergio used to have, like, if you use the power straight or the power up uh, chin uppercut, it would come out like a, like lightning fast. It, would, like it's, it still comes out fast. You think so? I haven't, I like, I haven't used um, one. Have you noticed, like, when you try to throw the lead hook with, um, with south paws, it's a little slower? I feel like maybe that's when they say when they say um, make it more aligned with um, their orthodox stance. That might be what they mean. Because when I use when I use south paws, for the most part, I can't really throw hooks that much because it's so slow. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try a southpaw in an offline mode real quick, just to because I really don't want to play a southpaw, but I'm just gonna play it just so yeah. I, <laughs> so I get a feeling for what it what exactly they're talking about. I mean, this new when you switch stance, this new arena is sick though. I don't know what it it's like in Mexico or something. I like it. Uh, which one? The uh, oh, San Santiago. Santiago. Yeah, yeah, that one's that one's. It wild, looks like a bro. real amateur uh, arena. <laughs> yeah, that one's hella wild. I like the uh, the Magna. That one's like fighting at uh, yeah, night. Yeah, check those out. Yeah. Yeah, there's like no. It's like low lights. Like the fighters are fighting in the yeah, dark. Yeah, check that out. That one's That's crazy. Sick. Okay, so I'm gonna test out this southpaw thing real quick and see what I notice. <laughs> Man, Dre just keep talking shit. Bro, I'm gonna have to knock Dre out today. Today, yo, Dre, I have to. Uh, you know, if you're on late, bro, I got you. I gotta. Uh, I gotta <laughs> drop. I gotta drop my wife off um, here in a couple of hours. But if you on late, bro, I got. In fact, I got all week, bro. I got she 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 gonna be out of town for a minute. I got I got a I got a lot of time on my hands to knock you out on a daily. <laughs> got a lot of time oh, on my hands. Twenty eight percent. Twenty eight percent what? Um, this dude quit out early and my my punch stats were really bad. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, that that arena looks sick. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. I've never been here. This one's nice. But the the other one, this is the last one on the. It's, I think it's called Lighthouse or something. The uh -huh. the the other one is called Magna, and it's it's dark. Like this one, there's clearly a big light on top of us. The other one, there's no light at all. It's just like you're fighting in the shadows. Um. So yeah, his uh power straight still seems quick. Uh, uh maybe... try the lead left hook or try the lead hook and then switch stances and then throw a lead hook from orthodox. So I don't know if it's just me, but the lead hook from uh southpaw seems a little faster. Cause you, you used to not be able to throw it. I still personally would not throw it. But, cause usually uh, south paws, I would I would have to throw it as a power hook for it to come out fast. But that's not the case with orthodox, so. Hmm, I think the animation just just it being that front foot when you're south paw, it uh, it. I mean. Well, it's not the same. That it's weird because it's not the same thing. Like if you, if you lead lead hook left handed, 
and then you and then you switch back to your uh, southpaw stance and then you lead hook right handed uh i think they're about the same <laughs> yeah because because you're technically switching he's a left-handed fighter and he lead hooks right-handed and if you switch to orthodox you lead hook left-handed with a left-handed fighter i don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense my frame rate is terrible right now i don't know what's going on um a little sauce that uh j surge told me is that this game is not optimized um to be running to be running uh like really high frames uncapped yeah uncapped i was running it uncapped uh forever since i've been playing wow and then he told me about it i put it on not for having a 40 series card yeah well if you got unlimited cash like like dre dre's got monopoly money in real life uh you don't have to worry about these type of things but if you live in the real world um you might want to uh cap your your fps on 60 um all right I just changed it. Let's see if it makes a difference. <laughs> my first two fights, my first two fights, I was like very jittery, and I usually have like I usually get like 140 plus frames. Yeah, because even when I I put uh I got a 3060, and when I put mine on 120, my GPU would be would be maxed out like 91 percent, 97 percent trying to and it wouldn't uh, even stay at 120 at 120 frames you'd be maxed out trying to trying to get to 120 so then i capped it at 60 my gpu uh, percentage dropped down to 36 to 40 percent and it holds uh -huh. 60 no problem hold 60. okay yo dre you like that you like that real world like he like that. <laughs> if you're in the real world, Mister Monopoly Money. Dre Dre lives on Boardwalk, looking ass. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm dropping to like 40, 40 frames, even though I capped it. Really interesting. Yeah, I might reset my game. Yeah, maybe. It, should not, yeah. it shouldn't be happening on a 30 yeah. series also. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be happening. Wait, are you running Are you running max graphics? I have all my graphics on low, too. Nah, you know I have everything on low. Okay, yeah, yeah, I would reset. Oh, my goodness, he wants me to use Joe. Then he, then he hit the white chick. He said, low, yuck. <laughs> low graphics, yuck. Oh, my God. Ew. Ew. BZ, I can't believe you use a low graphics. Ew. You call yourself a streamer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can't act like our 30 series cards are like some poverty cards or something. Like these are still beasts. Man, yeah, they are. Be 40 frames. Yeah, they are. They are not poverty cards, man. I've seen some dude on Facebook trying to sell a, a 3060. Uh, what is it, Ti or whatever, for like 600 bucks? I was like, the fuck. <laughs> 40 yeah. like 400 to 600 dollars i'm like jesus it might be my it might be because i have chrome open maybe turn it off yo what's up angelo angelo we got the defense bro we got the defense I ain't shit going through the middle no more. Got the defense. Lock it up. Lock it up. Tommy's got good body hooks. Yeah, he does. I haven't been able to try him with like a smooth connection yet, so we'll see. 
Yeah. Get out of here, bad and bougie Dre. Get out of here. I appreciate you, La. Bro, they throw uppers. I have the I have the announcers off, but they forced it through with Tommy Gunn or with Tommy Morrison. Chin uppers. You know what? I I I thought that was weird. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, I you haven't can still hear his fucking voice. Yeah, I was like, I never heard announcers in in a long ass time. I was like. I, I was like, is that new to the game or whatever? Had the announcers turned off? But yeah, with Tommy, the voice is forced through. That's what's going on. Oh, okay. All right, my frames are back over 100, so hopefully we're good. Okay, there you go. I, I could see that happening too, J-Surge, especially if they're producing this game for consoles. They're going to try to optimize it for console, and, you know, PC uh, might get the bad end of the stick with the, op the optimization type thing. They're going to make sure that it can run on the consoles. And then they'll just yeah. be like, whatever for the PC. Like, try they'll try to give it some extra shit, but it won't be optimized as well as the console version will be. Oh man, I feel like they broke the frames on the game, dude. I might need to try to close. Um... I need to close your stream. Let me see. Yeah, you can do that. Close the stream. Cat. Uh... We need tank secure. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm chilling now. Are no, you good now? I ah, yeah. have this new update. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. You gonna keep getting fighters, Surge. They gonna keep on giving them to you. <laughs> Ooh, Joe's hook feels nice. Ah damn! I wish I would get. Yeah, hooked. Joe is nice. I yeah. like I like using Joe Calzaghe. Yeah, his his I did his uh his right hook. Yeah, both hooks. Uh, the, the surprised me his right hook was so tight, like so smooth and tight. It didn't uh it didn't come out like slow like the other south paws. It come the other south paws their hooks come out like really wide and slow, like they just won't. Yeah. They won't connect the right way. All right, I'll give you the code, Eli. Change my keybinds. Dre, King Dre has became has become a professional troller for sure. In a minute, he's gonna start telling me he boxes in IRL. Oh man! <laughs> and he's gonna start showing me his uh amateur fights, his, his amateur fights, and everything. <laughs> he is a professional professional troller. King Dre. Uh... Undefeated in Brooklyn, probably. Yeah, definitely undefeated in Brooklyn. Undisputed champ out in Brooklyn. Yeah, undisputed street fighting champ. <laughs> Backyard boxing. 
he hosted a fight with uh, Kimbo Slice one time. Legendary. God damn, we keep on. For real? That's crazy. <clears throat> Shit, I don't know. I'm just here so I don't get fined. <laughs> oh man, I swear, can I get a check? I need a check from Undisputed, man. I literally work for this company right now. Oh, it'll come, it'll come, bro. I literally work for Undisputed. <laughs> <laughs> for free too. <laughs> for free. <laughs> Damn, can I get paid like five dollars an hour? You know what I'm saying? Plus tips, like pay me like a waitress. <laughs> a waiter. <laughs> King J says he's coming to my house to to beat me on undisputed in my living room. In front of in front of all my kids and my oh, wife. Shit. <laughs> yeah. He wants me to move all the furniture and everything. It's gonna be some couch co-op, no lag, and he gonna flash KO my ass in real time. In six rounds. Oh my goodness. Yo, Joe's jab is nice. His hook is ridiculously tight. Oh, hold up, hold up. All right, you don't. His directional hook is what's decent. Up, hey, what's up, man? Directional is decent. Yo, what's up? Not today because I'm... I mean, if you go, you gotta come back within like what's four o'clock. You gotta come back in like an hour. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, that's what I was like. I was gonna come back in an hour. All right, you can go. Be back in an hour, cause I gotta, I gotta take her. I gotta drop her off at her at her aunt's house. So I need you back here in an hour. What's up, back? <laughs> oh, little cute girl. Little girl here. Yep. She look like your first ponytail. Uh huh. <laughs> my first ponytail in like a month. <laughs> my hair going back fast. Mm hmm. I was really happy when I was putting on a ponytail this morning. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think they did nerf the uh, power straight speed because uh, Joe's power straight is not coming out hyper speed like. Uh, yeah, but he's not a he's not a lightning hands like Sergio though. So. True. True. All right. At least my frames are back to normal. That was kind of concerning. Power hooks. Uh, that hook was pretty quick. Holy shit. That was. Yeah, he got yeah that that right hook was that was that was pretty fast. That's a that's a manageable right hook. That hook you could you could get it to land. Power right hook. That's manageable. Oh, that's that's beyond manageable. Beyond like I just literally went up and I can make that thing hit. Like, it's weird though. If you, I think it's the, f yeah, the forward one. There's some type of way that you got to set it up because you got to get close and do it. The forward one or the close range right hook comes out fast. Back up, Tommy, back up. Oh my God. I don't know why we keep disconnecting. So yeah, the internet is still trash because I can't connect to the Eli at all 
and we keep disconnecting and all types of shit. The internet is still trash. <laughs> Press five and three and a half. Um, I like Tommy Gunn. I feel like he'll be a good. Uh, I think he's a good counter to Floyd Patterson. I don't know if he he'll get fucked up by Fury though. Yeah, Joe's Joe's good, Eli. I like him. Just I'm not, not big. I'm not big on southpaws, but I like it. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they're still decent because I'm still not connect. I'm still getting disconnected. So if I'm getting disconnected, it's gotta be some desync. Oh, they definitely didn't uh, address the desync. They didn't. Oh no, definitely not. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm gonna say like I'm. I can I can see I can see that in house in the ring body uppercuts yeah I can t I can tell you right now what's gonna happen on that on that test King Dre if if you I want to test out blocking with someone who throws a thousand punches. If they throw a thousand punches and you block, yeah, they're going to be gassed out 100%. What's up, Tank? Yeah. It, I, I, think, I think the KOs are coming because the block is too good. The block, the block is increased. It's too good, and it's causing people to gas. They, you're saying they need to lower the block health. Is that what you're saying? Um Just looking at this top tier fighter guard block health block health guarding I don't really see too many fighters with like cray like wow they actually gave Canelo has like the highest guard guard slash block health. But I don't think it's not gonna help Canelo because Canelo's too short and he gets hit on top of the head. That's Canelo's problem. He's the shortest fighter, he gets hit on top of the head. Ah, see, I, I, I knew, I knew that's what was gonna be said, Jay Serge. You said keep people from holding block the entire fight. So that was the first thing that came out of my, uh, one of the first things that came out of my mouth when I seen how effective the guard was. What's gonna happen is, by the guard being that effective, people are going to start throwing vulnerable punches. And you're going to see a lot more knockouts because of it. I'm not going to say what the vulnerable punches are. Some of us know. Some of us don't know. But people are going to start throwing vulnerable punches. And you're going to see KOs. And the people that are throwing the vulnerable punches to get around the guard are going to throw their hands up and say, what the fuck? The game is so broken. They're gonna go right back to complaining. Yeah. About how about what it is. They're gonna go right back. And go right back to complaining. You know, I, in fact, I told I told you about some of that sauce. Uh, 
I told you about some of that uh, angles. Uh, when I was talking uh, about to you, the, like the vulnerability and all that. Yeah, especially when I was telling you, I sent you a list of of counters that produced flash KOs, and there's yeah, yeah. there's a p- p- particular punch that you might start seeing people throw. It is a directional. There's a particular directional you're going to see people throw, and it's going to cause a lot of flash KOs because of because of the way that the block is set up now it'll probably take a while for people to start doing it i don't know should i should i do a tips should i do a tips and tricks video <laughs> should i do tips and tricks on on youtube Who, who wants to who wants to be my my tips and my tips and tricks crash dummy for the YouTube videos? <laughs> who wants to be the crash dummy? People may not agree with it all, but they want to hear what you say. You say, bring your ass on. Look, look, there we got that one red bar up there. So let me see here. He got the pretty tight guard. In fact, his guard is tighter without being in the weave. Uh, yeah, I have a uh, do weekly vids. And I have a lot to say, man. Like I have a, if I were to do tips and tricks, I'd probably have to make, yeah, make them pretty like shorter videos because there's a, there's a ton to talk about inside of this game um that like it's hard to think like when you're fighting to think about all the things that's going on inside the game it's very hard to uh actually process all those things <laughs> sauce bender volume volume one i'm with it i'm with it You know what? I got some time. I got some time this week. You know what? I'll put out the first. I'll put out the Surse. Uh, the Surse. The first Sauce Bender volume. I think I'll do it tomorrow. Y'all ready? <laughs> Sauce Bender volume one. Try hard. I, li- I like that. I, li- I like the try hard added on there. Dedicate one hour of each stream to it, then edit it and upload those cuts. Dedicate. Okay, I could I could try to do it that way. I could try to do it that way. Dedicate one hour of each stream to it, then edit and upload those cuts. They use for their streams for YouTube. It's passive income. Your vibes make double the money. I could try to do it that way. Cause uh, I was watching a guy, I, I was watching a YouTuber uh, last night and uh, then voiceover for YouTube. I was watching a guy last night and he seemed like he was, um. Oh, if you're talking to me, Angles, you're uh, you're muted. Are you, oh I, no no no! I'm re- I'm reading chat too. My bad, bees. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I hear you though. Yeah. If what was I gonna say? I was saying um, I could try to do that. Do a, a little tips and tricks. Uh, I'll start it tomorrow. Oh yeah, I was watching a guy do a video last night, and he seemed like he was. 
he liked Undisputed a lot, and uh, he had like a lot of views. It seemed like he wanted to talk positive about this game, but he he wasn't very knowledgeable. And I'll say that most people aren't knowledgeable because the knowledge isn't inside of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like Still City is not putting out. Um, they're not putting out, you know, a pamphlet on how to play the game. And I think that's why a lot of people are responding to the to the game the way it is. Because they're responding this way because Still City won't tell them exactly what's what. And unless you just want to sit around uh like myself or angles or some other people that sit here and just box over and over and over and over and over until the smallest little wrinkles expose themselves to you and you'll be like oh okay that's what this means and that's what that means and unless you want to sit here and do that um you're going to be frustrated with this game <laughs> Compilations of DCs and ghost punches. <laughs> yeah, and obviously even even my man here Angles know uh knows a thing or two about about fighting ghosts. You play enough and you learn how to fight the opponent, the ghost, yourself, the AI, you know you learn how to fight four people at the same time. <laughs> you definitely shouldn't have to. You definitely should not have to fight four people at the same time. Surgeon BZR, you think if they make the AI difficulty perfect and some more fighters they'll add my career then you guys only think of oh no uh, they have a little roadmap thing on uh, on the uh, steam on steam and I think right now they're really they're addressing a whole lot of complaints and I think they they've pretty much addressed most of like the top top complaints outside of the internet um, being really really bad and they, they've attempted to address the internet connection issues but they're addressing all of the balance complaints and I think they're about to get real heavy on bringing in uh, the extra stuff I think we're, we're pretty close to them slowing down on the balance and they're going to start producing the real game, the offline, everything the offline has the offer, the, you know, the store, the career mode, they're going to start really digging in deep to that. That's my personal opinion. I am not a fortune teller. I do not work for Undisputed. I do not know shit. I'm just a dude. Yeah, I think I think Serge is right on that. Uh, if you don't see anything by early December, if you don't see like a huge change to the game by early December, then they're probably going to postpone it till next Christmas. So not Christmas of 2023, but Christmas of 2024 um because everybody knows like postponing games till around christmas time gives you 
uh, some of the best Christmas and Thanksgiving gives you some of the best opportunities to get um, high, really, really high game sales. Um, so if you don't, if you don't see it by this, if you don't see a big, huge, almost complete version of the game uh, surfacing by Christmas. Uh, yeah, I could see that. I could see them pushing it back a whole year to do more fit and finish, more polish. Thinking if they have the AI spot on it, adding more top fighters would also be possible. Yeah, because yeah, so like, you gotta believe that they're going to save some of the some of the game for offline, like some of the full game. You best believe they're not gonna just give us the entire game uh, in the alpha in the pre-release state. Um, if they do, it'll only be like a week in advance of the, um, of the game actually releasing something like if you, if you were a battlefield player, like battlefield 2042, um, right before the game came out, they did some betas like a week, like a week, two weeks out before the full release, which was way too late to actually make any changes. But they they did some full release betas, like two weeks before full release, maybe a little bit longer than that. I could see there being a window like that where maybe they might show you every single thing that's in the game, but probably not not likely. Then again, Battlefield 2042 was a live service game that had no offline mode, no offline at all. It was a full online only game, and this game is gonna have some off offline. So I don't think they're gonna they're gonna spill the beans on on their offline mode. Like like all the nooks and like all the goodies, the real goodies. They're not gonna give you all the real goodies. Think of it more like more like uh the Diablo beta that's been going on, you know, they're giving you access to everything up to level 20, but they're not going to give you the real goodies, the in-game content. They're not giving you the real, real goodies. But they're, but they're allowing people to play a lot of stuff and they get a really good feel for the game, but they're not going to give you everything. Yeah, what's that you don't understand, Angelo? That's the referee, right? Kenny Bayless is the is the referee. Facial animations in the pre-fight cutscene. Isn't that funny how they they choose to address Kenny Bayless when he's barely ever like seen? <laughs> Well, so I love that man. That was a rank fight. The fuck? I did a rank fight. I didn't even. Oh shit! I was just fucking around. I did not know I was in a rank fight. Yeah. Well, supposedly, uh, Kenny Bayless is, uh, you know, the referee. 
if you've seen the early uh, mock-ups of the game, the referee is actually going to be in the ring. He's gonna there. There will be a real referee, like looking at the fighters, looking at the boxers throughout the match. He's actually supposed to be in the ring at all times. Supposedly, allegedly, I don't want to get sued. But if you've seen some of the early builds of the game, you could see a referee actually in the ring. And sometimes he'll move towards the camera and then he'll turn transparent so that you could see through him. And the referee will walk around the boxers and eyeball the fight. He's just currently not in the ring. They, they listen better when I put it in the comments. So. <laughs> man, we just need ring girls. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, man. Then we'll, then we'll really start. We don't need, we don't need ring girls. We got um, Rod Deezy's, uh ring girls. Yeah, we already got those. We handled the ring girl situation ourselves. Um. <laughs> If we if we got uh, ring girls, we would just have all different types of stupid patch notes about uh, addressing ring girl jiggle and <laughs> ring girl jiggle <laughs> and holding up the correct rounds because nobody's even looking at the rounds. The ring girl comes out with you know round two in her hand, but it's actually round twelve. You're crazy, bro. <laughs> but we're all concerned about ring girl <laughs> jiggle. There'll there'll be all types of uh um what do you want to call it like fight cues based off of the the ring girl's bra color if she comes out in red you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fucking dead, bro. If she comes out happy, you're you know you're winning. You're getting a ring girl out. Of, you know like some crazy shit. Yeah. The, the ring girl smiling or whatever's going on. Which way she exits the ring. It says when he has a cut, he has a 25% of losing the fight to the cut. So does the bar have to be full for it to end? Yeah, what a fight, what a fight. Or if it just a cut appears. That's really weird, Angelo. Uh, the way that you wrote that sentence um, makes a lot of questions appear in my head the way that you worded that so if you get a cut in order for the fight to stop because of a cut you have to have a four star cut but the way you originally worded that question it says when he has a cut he has a 25 percent chance Yeah. The way you worded it. What's up, Black Ranger? Um, I could say what I... I don't know if I could really comment on... Make a comment on that statement, what you said there. What I, what I will say... I, I won't be able to completely answer your question directly. What I will say is... Is... Here's some sauce that maybe we'll we'll talk about on on the first episode of the sauce the sauce bender the sauce volume is that when you have a cut um and you're holding your guard up there is a percentage chance that a punch can go through the block no matter if your guard is on full health or not so does that make it 25% like more likely that the punch will land and that you will win or lose fights based off of somebody being unable to block your punches? Possible. 
I, w I don't know the percentage on when you have a cut what's the percentage chance that the punch will go through the block I do not know I do not know the percentage How many followers? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting close to 800. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right around like seven, seven seventy something or seven eighty, I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a that's a pretty in depth question that you asked there. Um, so. Like yeah, I'm not I'm not the developer, so I couldn't tell you what the exact percentages are unless the developer told me, and the developer hasn't told me shit. So what was the uh, question, bees? Um, let me scroll up. Shit. Uh, hey, Angela, could you write the question again? Oh, it's all good. I just yeah. wanted, I wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. He he might just be able to copy paste it or something. You can write it again. But it was um, it's a com it's somewhat complex. The w the way he asked it brought in the, the complexity. <laughs> made made me think a little bit out outside of the box. All right, here it goes. He rewrote it. It says it says when he has a cut, he has a twenty five percent chance of losing the fight to the cut. So does the bar have to be full for it to end, or just if he if the cut appears? Uh, I think I think twenty five percent chance less. So like, the likelihood of every other fighter getting stopped by a cut, it's he has twenty five percent less chance because he gets cut more often. It's that's just that's just how he was as a fighter, I guess. Like he he fought through the cuts, I believe. I'm not sure. Oh, so he you're asking me about the trait. Yeah, that's you're asking the about Tommy yeah, Morrison's for Tommy, trait. For Tommy uh, Morrison, I believe. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yes, what Angle said is correct. He's more. Uh, Tommy Morrison is more likely to get cut, and uh, even though he's cut, there's it's a 25% less likely chance that the fight will get stopped while he has a four star cut or any cut of any nature but it more it more or less has to do with him having the fight will never get stopped unless you have a four star cut if you have a four i'm muted oh if you have a four star cut that's the that's the only way the fight can be stopped if you have a four star cut. So once Tommy Morrison has a four star cut, um, he has a twenty five percent greater chance to continue to fight with a four star cut versus somebody else. The doctor will immediately stop the fight. Uh, sure, man. I'll I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and use Tommy. Well, it was it was the way he when he asked me. I thought he was asking about something from from patch notes. I didn't know we were talking about traits. That's what kind of messed me up. I was like, huh? Yeah, I thought we were talking about patch notes, but we're talking about traits.
yeah, that's basically the the Aturo Gotti trait. Gotti gets cut more, but he can fight through cuts. That's the Gotti trait. That's why we see Gotti get cut every fight in the NBK League. The Blood Guts and Warrior cut trait and all that shit. That's the Gotti build. Oh shit, boy just slept me. Yeah, you did say that, but I kind of just like glossed over it. Dad, yeah. Get me a snack since I got my award. Yes, I will get you a snack, but maybe not right now, maybe not today, but I will get you a snack. Yay. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Is she not in the bathroom right there? Dude got hit by a hell of a ghost punch. I used Tommy earlier and didn't get a cut. My dodging and blocking was literally on point. I had 99 health and ended the fight in the second round against the guy you guy using Floyd. Okay. I probably won't do that well, but I'll try. Yo, BZ, they definitely uh, fixed the lead hook on Southpaws. Comes out way faster. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. It's, I think it's the, the the targeting like if you notice the way the the fighters get a little bit closer now there it feels like there's not an invisible wall in between them their feet the first thing i noticed yeah. was the feet was different like they they line up better so they yeah it's not like their back is faced towards the camera as much i can kind of see that yeah yeah they they start to their posture is better and you can you can land the the right hook no problem so they fixed a lot of how the uh the southpaw and the orthodox fighter in, interact with each other yeah that's good i like it yeah very like yeah very good you don't you don't have to fight a southpaw like really weird anymore yeah you don't have to just keep going for that body yeah the, yeah the lead body all the time <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I used to fight Southpaws for sure. Yeah, you you couldn't you could not hook them to the head, right? Hook them to the head. That's a waste of time. Yeah, right hook is landing right now. Oh yeah, I'm doing like easy. A, um, I'm doing a mirror match with the Calzaghi. Oh, okay. I need I need to see I need to see um throw his power. I, I like right how hook. they made um I like how they made the Southpaw punches aligned with how the orthodox speed comes out as well i think that that kind of didn't make sense to me at all because like um sergio he's supposed to have like before this patch he's supposed to have like a 105 speed but his hooks still came out slow but his jabs and his straights were fast as hell so that that, that just didn't really make sense exactly yeah he was coming out with i mean that that jab and straight was like electric fast yeah yeah crazy yeah. but try that 
he's got uh Joe try his power right hook. If you I do it kind of like a yeah, if you do it kind of like a up close to the fighter like a like oh, a yeah, four. Tight. Yeah, it's tight. It's yeah. tight and it's fast. It's yeah, like it's that. usable. A power right hook is you like I could, I can't use a power right hook with any fighter, but that one works. I don't use I don't use power hooks at all because they're too slow, but that one works. Um, I yeah, I usually use it on south paws. For some reason, those come out really fast. It's very snappy. I feel like they definitely did something with the stamina. Like I think they took the rubber band off the stamina. I ain't gonna lie, I think they did. What do you mean by rubber banding? So, man, that's that's a video that I sh that I should have done. A YouTube video that I should have did about the uh, rubber Are you talking about lag? Are you talking nah. about the lag or what? Nah. So like, I can go ahead and say it now because I don't, I don't see it in the game. But uh, if I, I'm gonna keep playing and uh, and if I if I can make a video about it, I'll make a video about it tomorrow. So basically, um, if you if you got a stamina lead in the game, what would happen is it would trigger the fighters getting slower. It would trigger the fighters getting tired, no matter what. No matter who had the stamina lead, if you got it or the opponent has it, the fighters would, uh, would what I call go into simulation mode. Basically, like if somebody has like a thirty point, a thirty percent stamina lead, it would trigger. It happens all the time, but you really see it when it gets to about thirty, a thirty percent. It gets real bad. And what happens is. The fighter that's behind in, uh, in the stamina race, basically the body punch race, um, the punches start taking more stamina to throw them. It's happening in my game right now. This guy is uh, tired. To even it out. To yeah. To even the game out. To even the game out. Uh, it would start. It would start taking. Um, more stamina per punch to throw so when that happens if you're the underdog what you what you're supposed to do is attack the body and then the game will balance itself out as far as uh you being able to catch back up in the stamina race it won't allow like if obviously it's boxing you're supposed to punch without getting punched so if you got the lead and then you got lazy and you allowed the the fighter that the underdog to punch you back he could easily claw himself back into the fight within oh, yeah. within one round you could lose you know 20 to 30 percent stamina in one round because you got lazy so that's what i call the the rubber band yeah uh, like you could outperform a fighter for you know six seven rounds, and one round of you BSing, he could get right back in the fight and defeat you. But I'm not feeling that right now in the game. It looks like they took the rubber band out. But then again. I'm not for sure if I'm fighting some of the uh, better fighters in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we always see Mr. Uh, what's his name? Fanatico or, or whatever. Yeah. We always see him like, I'm going to go in and fight against the un undisputed community. One of you guys. And he gets a level three and he's like, look at me. I'm punching and I'm not getting punched. I'm in my weave. I'm dipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, get out of here. Like, you was not fighting top level you know, like you're not where 
where we're at, where we're complaining about the game, the situations that we're in. You're like shitting on somebody right now and saying it's all good. I could do that all day. You could do that all day. People that are rank 40 can shit on level threes all day. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, this guy's not really attacking my body, so it's hard for me to tell, but it, it definitely doesn't look like the rubber banding is in the game. But I gotta, I gotta find somebody that's, somebody that's really, uh, really fighting. Or somebody that's really trying to win a fight. How about that? <laughs> like, if you see yourself getting your ass kicked, you you know you're naturally you fight back. But some people don't got that kind of fight in them. I mean, if the fight's even, it's even, right? But oh my god, yo, somebody give Eli thirty seconds. <laughs> Time out. Nose in the corner behind the door, stand on one foot. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Eli said Fanatico is the GOAT, BZ. That's what he wrote in my chat. <laughs> he's the GOAT. I mean, I've heard I've heard some people say he's pretty good. What, a level Definitely one? Definitely doesn't have the hours we have in the game, though. I just can't take him serious when I, when I see him queue up the fight and it's a level three... And he starts styling and profiling on him. And you work for Undisputed. Come on, man. <laughs> you work for the company. <laughs> Come on, man. I can't take that serious. Hey, yes, baby. Uh, I'm going to get my snack tomorrow. I'll try to get it for you tomorrow, baby. Yes. Tomorrow. Okay. What you want? You want the gummy gummy worms or gummy bears? I want trolls. What? Trolls. Remember I got yeah last time? Oh, the gummy worms are the trolls? Yeah. Okay, I got you, baby. Yay. He's better than you, Eli. <laughs> oh. All right, Eli. You put that in the world. What's Eli saying, bro? He's saying Fanatico's better than him. And then he said, BZ, have you ever seen someone better than Fanatico? <laughs> <sighs> I mean, shit, he might, you might step in the ring with him and it's a different story, you know? Maybe he makes us look like level threes. I don't know. Oh, that. Oh, that's what it is. I never thought of that. Be different, you know. He different. I never. You know what? You're on to something. <laughs> You're on to something. You know what? What? Does anybody get Fanatico's uh, username, screen tag, or whatever on Steam? And let's let's get let's get him in a in a fight. You know, with some of the. Uh, the guys that are actually keeping Undisputed alive. He isn't. <laughs> let's let's get Fanatico against Hyper Aim. Let's get Fanatico. Oh, let's yeah. get Fanatico against MBK Tank. Some some guys with some with some accolades, huh? I mean the thing with him, he might be like limited into how he plays you know like he can't he can't hop on the game and just go full fucking not not saying the top players are cheese but like you know doing doing what the top players do because that's not how uh steel city probably envisions their game to be so you know he's over here having like um inside fighting showcases 
Like uh, in reality, that, that was that's so not weak at all, dude. Yeah, that's it was not. not I seen that video. I sat there and watched it last night. That like was so weak. Uh, you'll get you'll get dominated in rank doing that. Yeah. Trying that against fucking uh, Broly or some. <laughs> he said blue. You match up against Ice Mac bums and try to play against that. It's over, bro. <laughs> Don't ever try to inside fight like that, bro. <laughs> bro, it's not gonna work. They're not even like. You, in order for that inside fighting, did you see the video, bro? The dude was standing there in the corner. He was standing in the corner. He's like, look at me. I'm in a deep weave. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, nobody's going to stand there. He said blue, he said blue clues tip. <laughs> he said. It's dude. really catering to how they want people to play the game, but it's just not. That's not how people play the game, man. Nobody's going to stand there and let you style on them, bro. That's crazy. That's not even realistic to think that way. To think that that's going to happen. <laughs> At, not even... Like, he was fighting a level 3 fighter. And not even a fighter that's like, let's just say, level 15 would stand there in the corner and let you bob and weave on them. Not even a level yeah. 15 fighter would do that. Yes, the Sean Porter video, that was the one where he was like he was like, "Okay, if you get low and you block, look, you can't get that low. You guys, you got to let go of your blocks so you can get deep in your weave." Hey, like, you'll get fucked up. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get deep in your weave, and and you're gonna be Ryan Garcia, and somebody's gonna punch you on the top of the fucking head. It's gonna be KO, baby. You're gonna get that goofy ass, uh, KO animation where his his head's gonna like boop, and then bop up like hella slow, and he's gonna fall back like timber. That's what it's gonna look like, bro. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Fanatico has definitely gave Eli some money. Eli has gotten paid. That's what that's what getting paid looks like. <laughs> that's what getting paid looks like. Eli uh drank he drank the Kool-Aid. He drank the Kool-Aid. Jesus, bro, look how slow, look how tired these fighters are right now. What the fuck? Oh, they gotta fix this, bro. They gotta patch this shit. Are you serious right now? Oh, this gotta get patched, bro. I can't even knock them out. Oh. Yo, if you got a second, Angles, if you got a second, come watch this shit, bro. Come watch this shit. What's going on? Come watch my, come watch my fight, bro. Is he staying still? I'm no, no. Watching. Like, like I'm, I'm over. Hold on, let me turn this. Let me turn off my, uh, my cam and everything so you can see. Look at, look at my stamina health right now. I'm at 26 health, 59% stamina. Yeah. I'm so. What's happening right now? It's in simulation mode. The uh -huh. he probably has he probably has no stamina whatsoever. The stamina disparity is probably over 30%. It's probably closer to 40%. And so it's making the game drag. I'm so yeah. tired that allegedly, supposedly I don't have enough power to knock this guy out. That is bullshit. I have enough power to knock them out. Well, watch. Well, watch how we're fighting. Look at this. I mean, you're you're one barring too. That might be an issue, also. I am one barring. That's probably an issue. I'm probably not actually punching the guy. Oh, I finally got him. That's probably that's probably the problem. I was one barring. 
like where I thought I had the punches or I thought I was getting the hits, I might yeah. not have been getting getting the hits. I wasn't thinking about that. Might have been that. Uh, yes, one coat. Might have been the odd even round thing too. Yeah, well, that was actually the twelfth round right there. Yeah. So, oh, but yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, it was, was it was his round. It was one bar. That's what the deal was. Thank you, sweetheart. That that was definitely it. Now that you say it, it was it was one bar. I was like, bro, what in the entire flow? I'm talking about. I got way more than enough power to <laughs> to knock somebody out. Yeah, he's at 19 yeah, percent stamina. Especially if, you're, especially if you're. I was at 60. He was at 19. Yeah. You know what I hate when the when the health it gets to just like 26 percent and it doesn't go any lower than that. I hate that. And then you just keep retending. Well, yeah, that's that's when, that's where um, you're supposed to. So, if you that's where the rubber band was a problem, because when the health gets when the health gets to the bare minimum that 22, 22 health twenty two stam, um, that fighter could protect himself well enough where he won't get knocked out, and body punch you and rubber band you into the same situation where now both fighters are sitting at 22 22 22 22 and then you can't like ko each other for the last four rounds or the last two rounds because both fighters are so weak yeah yeah i'm gonna do uh tommy now but that's that's where that rubber band was a big problem because the lower fighter could drag you down he could suck you in uh but as long as you recognize what's going on and you get that punch lead and when you see that simulation setting in your only job is to continue to separate yourself is to body punch him and don't get body punched and if you do that for enough rounds, basically you can you can snap the rubber band, you could break it, and you could put him in a situation where you one punch KO him to the face. Yeah, that that's your job at, at that point. Is once you once you feel that rubber band really kick in, you could you could feel it at ten percent, twenty percent, but when it gets to thirty, you know you have the win in the bag. So at that point, all you got to do is you know jab them out basically hook them out separate them as far as possible and then you can get that one punch ko but if you allow them to body punch you back into the fight you're you're screwed you're now you're going back and forth yeah. back you're playing this stupid ass seesaw game that shouldn't should not exist the game is set up that way or it was set up that way it doesn't look like it uh anymore that guy was a level 30 and he was 26 and 3 so oh hold on let me see here let me check the uh, body punch count he did not go to the body he only had 74 body punches um so i i won't i won't even give him the benefit of the doubt either <laughs> Eli says I'm actually fanatico. Uh, look at his traits. I'll look at the traits, um, Angelo. But that's what was going on. That's what was causing people such a hard time to get KOs in the previous patch angles. Is people kept getting they kept getting rubber band uh, to where they couldn't separate themselves from the opponent. And there's there's more things going on than than just what I explained that causes that rubber banding to happen. There's more things going on than that. Uh, but you know, uh, I should make some YouTube videos. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do some YouTube videos on the on the oh, on the rubber banding. You know, on on everything undisputed. And if I say and watch my videos angles if i say anything crazy it's your job to contradict me and we're gonna have youtube video short wars <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be like that guy bzr is full of shit i whoop him every sunday <laughs> oh man 
him every Sunday. He's a shitty fighter. Don't listen to him. He's got the lag switch under his desk. <laughs> <laughs> Some somebody on YouTube actually accused me of that. It was a hilarious video. He literally titled the video like something like "Fighting BZR," blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I've got a couple of those too. Yeah. Hey man, when you're when you're on top, here come the haters, bro. <laughs> here come the haters. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> here come the haters when you're on top, bro. Out the woodworks. I can't believe. I'm like, bro, I'm not even that good. You out here titling. YouTube videos BZR, because <laughs> because they, they see you're always at the, you're always the top, on the Twitch undisputed for the most part. Yeah. Like unless it's um. The only the only uh, streamers that get more uh, views than you on the category is mostly people with like, bigger followings from other games, and then they bring it here. Oh, but when yeah. it's like purely undisputed streamers. For the most part, you're you're at the top most of the time. But, uh, thank and in you, this baby. corner, it's good. Tommy the Duke Morris. He weighed in at 101.2 <laughs> <laughs> kilos, and he'll have a reach of 193 yeah. centimeters. Mm. And his yeah, opponent, is, Tommy the Duke Morrison, he weighed in at 223 <laughs> pounds and has a reach of seven. Tommy the Duke Morris. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Tommy yeah, the Duke it, Morrison, the former WBO heavyweight champion it. of the right, world, right here, who could forget some of his legendary battles from the 90s. This is going to be an intense stand off before. One time I was beating BZ up and I saw him hit the leg switch under his desk. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh man, I forgot to look. I'll look at the traits after the fight. I forgot to look at the traits. But I, I already know. I already know what his traits are, though. I don't know if you wanted, if you were telling me to look, so that I, that I knew. But I already, I've already looked at them. Was Tommy Morrison this this husky man? He feels like he's just a big, wide back fighter. Like he's just. He's like a football player. Like a, a linebacker with boxing gloves, man. Okay, all right. I'm looking at him. He's like, this is Jesus. He just looks ridiculous, man. <laughs> no boxing skill, all power. <laughs> yeah, he's he's crazy looking. He moves. He moves pretty pretty good pretty decent Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna pull up the uh, Tommy Morrison uh, KO highlight reel so I can see this guy fight. I don't really think. Um, I don't think them taking away lightning hands from Amir Khan. It's a big difference, but his his speed is so high. His counter windows is still better than most fighters in the division. Yeah, yeah his his base speed. I think the gap between him and SRL probably closed a little bit. Yeah. But he's still way faster than um, than most. You talking uh, in what division? Uh, welterweight. Middleweight, he probably not. He probably won't be good. But welterweight, it's not bad. I, I like, think he's. he's still really fast. I think he'll still be good in middleweight because really the only person that that would be faster than him, I think, is. The only people even 
possible to be faster is going to be a uh, uh, Sergio, maybe? Sergio got lightning yeah, hands? Sergio, Sergio, yeah, Sergio lightning and so. Jacobs off the first punch. Yeah. Cause after my, my thought process is that with him uh, not having lightning hands in middleweight, it just uh, it kind of amplifies the fact that his his health is questionable. You know what I mean? His health, like is it, it doesn't hell a suspect, it doesn't bro. Really, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really cover his ass as much as if he had lightning hands. That that's why I actually stopped playing him because a top level fighter knows how to expose Khan. Oh yeah. A top level fighter on uh, middleweight will will expose him and what happens is is you go up against roy jones rather yeah, body or thing yeah whether or not <laughs> roy jo whether or not the roy jones that you fight is a top top level fighter or not it really doesn't matter if he's just peaking above average he's gonna give Khan a hard time because because of the health Uh, bro, I don't know if the story with Tommy bro, was not the same looking when he got older because of what he was taking, hanging out with the wrong people. It's so much. Yeah. Well, if you ever watch before and afters of, I don't know what Tommy was on. I don't really know any of Tommy's story or anything like that. But if you watch before and afters of people that do steroids, um, it uh, it changes, it alters the face muscles and everything. It alters the face. Uh -oh. Dad. What, sweetheart? I'm, 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 at, I'm at school and I get my gummy bears. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to have them for you tomorrow. I promise you. Okay. All right, Eli. Died of a blood infection. Yikes. It's a bad way to go. Yeah, you know, it'd be hella sick to die of a blood infection. You know, it's gonna make you feel like crap. Body working in overtime. I'm gonna beat up some people. In the name of BZ and God. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yo. Outboxer Eli. Whatever you do, don't act like Ryan Garcia and go over the top, Outboxer. Use your neutral. Gonna have to take a knee. Aw, oh, man, you know what? Go outside and get the switch. Ain't none of my homeboys taking knees. Go outside and get the switch. The shorts is pretty clean. Yo, angles. Yo. Yeah, uh, um, damn. Look, as soon as I said angles, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Alright, I'll get you I'll get you in a minute. <laughs>
What a quitter. flags would have been tough like Apollo Creed <laughs> Oh yeah, angles. It's better now, bro. It's better. I don't think that rubber band is in the uh, in the game at all. I don't think it's in the game uh, anymore. And it's exactly how it's supposed to be. You have to the the goal of if you're going to the body on somebody. This is a body goal. If you're going to the body, you want to um, you want to deplete their stamina as much as possible, and then it's basically, you know, basically like how you can get knocked out in the game. Like, let's just say if you're hundred percent health, hundred percent health, hundred yeah. percent stamina. If you throw like, say three empty hooks, you throw three hooks and don't hit anything. And then I check hook you, I have a possibility of knocking you out because you're so deep into your stamina pool. Well, it's the same situation. If you beat up somebody's body and you get them into the black bar deep, deep in the black yeah. bar like say say like three hooks deep in the belt in the black bar say they throw one punch and and they go into the gray bar so now they're like they're past 50 percent like overall stamina they're they're 50 percent black bar and say 30 percent gray bar and then you check hook them with say 80 percent stamina you will get a you will put them in a situation where they're going to get KO'd. Obviously, you would have you would you would have had to do some head damage prior to that. That couldn't be like your first hook to the head. You know how they had the old bars back in the day uh two patches ago where the bar would go white yellow orange red you would you will yeah. have to get their head somewhere to like low yellow orange area for that check hook to to knock them out so it's not the only factors there's other factors in there you would and you have to you know um basically beat the head evenly to a certain extent in order for that to even be possible so there's a lot there's a manipulations you have to do but the the main goal is to get them into a situation like kind of uh, your goal is to you know get their stamina down work their head at the same time soften it up so once you finish the body you can go upstairs and and, yeah. and knock them out with a with a pretty good a fairly easy check hook if you don't if you you could do it the opposite way you could do no body work at all and work the top um 
but you really put yourself at risk of losing the fight because what happens if you only work the top and not the bottom? Well, the other guy's gonna gonna work your your body. You're gonna have yeah, exactly. less stamina, yeah, because you're fighting the top. You're gonna have less stamina, and uh, overall, it could put you in a bad situation uh, if the fight goes late. Let's just say that you don't get the early knockout that you're looking for. If the fight uh-huh. fight goes late, he's got you know a eighty percent stand bar. You got a forty percent stand bar. You let go of one punch. He counter punches you. Guess what? You're KO'd. Um, yeah, that would be a good video for you to make, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some videos on. Like it's e- easier said than done. I'm gonna do some videos on like how you're supposed to go about doing it and the stats that kind of like fall in line with like tr- like getting people to understand it i'm gonna i'm gonna it's gonna be more in depth so people can comprehend what's going on because i could just tell them all day like hey punch them in the belly hit them in the head they'll be like okay it's not working <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah Uh, I'm going. I'm gonna be taking a break here uh, in like an hour, Eli. I gotta drop. I gotta drop my wife off uh, uh, with some family members. She's gonna be attending a funeral out of state, so I'm gonna be dropping her off, and then I'll be back. So I'll be on uh, later tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to get that done. Opinions on Tommy. Uh, so my opinions on Tommy. Uh, I could basically tell you without without even playing him um, how he how he's gonna work out. <laughs> so oh shit, you'll be playing a lot this week. <laughs> oh what, oh, it's a Steam update. I think Steam just did a, is doing their update. Hot fix. Uh, either either it's a hot fix to undisputed. Or it's an it's update. It's just a general Steam update. Or it's a Steam update, yeah. Is Steam okay. updates on Tuesdays or Wednesdays? I thought I thought Steam updates. Were... I have no. I didn't know there was a set date for that. Yeah, I think it's every Tuesday. So it just gave me a. It just told me that I couldn't. Uh, I had no internet access to the game or whatnot. Usually, when that happens, it's a Steam update, and I can't play for, you know, five minutes. Yeah an error connecting to the steam network so it's a steam update it'll be like five ten minutes uh okay so my opinions on tommy um pretty it's pretty straightforward um i would have had i would have had stronger opinions on tommy if tommy was in the game yesterday um with the way the stamina was working prior to the patch clearly they did something to the patch um they did something to the stamina so my opinions on tommy at this moment are not as harsh as they would have been prior um with that being said uh tommy could be a really good fighter um you have you're gonna have to play with him a certain way. I saw you wearing a Jeff Hardy shirt. Nah, nah, nah. I think you're, um... You're gonna, you're gonna have to play with, um... You're gonna have to play with Tommy a certain way, regardless of this patch or last patch, at a high level. Hey BZ, a lot of people are saying Steam is down. Yeah, I yeah, it's a big it, Steam update. Yeah, it's a it's a Steam patch update or whatnot. Uh, um, I I think with Tommy, you're gonna have to play him a certain way in order for him to be effective. Uh, because of he's got some some pretty glaring stats. Um, but what I what I will say about Tommy, if any, if if 
undisputed if still city is listening to me at all if anybody you know important in the world that has to do with undisputed is listening to bzr the way tommy is built is the way canelo should be built if you could give canelo the same architecture that tommy has canelo would be a playable fighter I think they should. I honestly think they should make uh, Canelo skinnier and a little faster. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Tommy has enough foot speed to be to. He's built with power. If you looked at Tommy's stats, he's got crazy uh, left hand, crazy right hand, like to the max. He's got the maximum power left and right hand, and that's the way Canelo is built. The one problem with Canelo is is he can't move. His foot speed is bad, and Tommy can move. If you gave Canelo the same architecture, let him move at the same rate that Tommy's moving in comparison to his peers in the heavyweight, Canelo would be a, a valuable fighter. But that that's the problem with, with Canelo, is that he can't get his feet set. He, Canelo's literally all neutral and a whole lot of reverse. <laughs> Canelo got no gas. That man, <laughs> that man, Canelo is a is a, a garage queen. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to cars, he's like the most beautiful fucking car that you never drive. He is a garage queen. Pop the hood, you like, yo, look at this motherfucker right chill. I got 1,000 horsepower. You ever race it? Nope. <laughs> he is a garage queen. That's Canelo right now. You ever take him around the block? Nope. Never took him around the block. I don't got no ABS. <laughs> if you get on the gas, you know he's going to fishtail and crash. That's the way they got Canelo set up right now. Fishtail crash, literally. <laughs> Yo, jab cross. Yo, jab cross. The update is good, bro. The update is good. It's bringing more skill to the game. Yo, Goose, the update is good. It's bringing more skill to the game. It's definitely not a step backwards. It's a subtle, it's a subtle step forward. A subtle step. Last patch. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think it's a step backwards at all, man. Yeah, not a step backwards. It's a subtle step forward. Last patch. Believe it or not, and I hated last patch at the beginning. Last patch was a gigantic, it was a, a leap, you know what I'm saying? Like man on the moon, a leap forward. And I guess it was such it was such a big leap forward that you know it it ruffled my feathers. I was I was kind of pissed about it. It was such a leap forward, but it was a good thing. Um and this yeah the damage change was huge that was yeah, huge man. it was huge and i mean and i mean let's be honest like you were winning before before um the way they changed the damage the damage patch you were winning regardless oh, yeah, definitely. but now do you how do you feel now angles as far as you were all you were always winning you were never a losing fighter but i mean if i lose i mean back on like Pre before the damage change, I would lose to like body spam or I would lose to like getting KO'd by like hook spam. But for the most part, when I lose like on this current build, mm -hmm. it'll be from like getting outplayed or me like being over aggressive and losing on the cards. Like I don't get knocked. I don't think on a I haven't been knocked out on ranked since the last patch. But when I play there, on like 1.5 or like I spar, yeah, yeah, I'll get KO'd, but. 
it's not as often as before, which is good because you don't you what? don't want to reward spam, which is what they took away with the damage change. Exactly. So yeah, yeah. I, I would say um, I would say I I, I definitely benefited from it. <laughs> Yeah, ab absolutely, and that and that's basically what that patch was supposed to do. It was supposed to bring a bigger skill gap. It was proposed. It was supposed to protect you from spammers, which it did. It brought the skill gap. It, it protected you from st uh, spammers, and it, it protected you from that that nuke style punch. That same side damage where you know if somebody catches you, you know right hook to the face first round right hook to the face second round right hook to the face third round like eventually by the time you get to the 10th round and they hook you in the same spot you get that boom nuke like you're dead on impact you you go from from white bar to red bar that's what was that overall build up is what was happening and uh and a rookie player somebody that just picked up the controller 10 minutes ago could could use that strategy and defeat you yeah especially with all the hours we have in the game like someone just someone just comes in body uppercut spams us till we get KO'd like yeah absolutely yeah. ridiculous I don't think people realize how huge that <laughs> that damage change was man that's that's because they <laughs> They didn't put as much, they didn't, you know, they didn't put as much time in, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't, like, people, like, where's Jeff Hook? Where's Jeff Hook at? Oh, yeah, that's, that's funny, man. Yeah, that's true. Patched out. He definitely got patched out. <laughs> patched out. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's still a demon on the game, but he's not, he's not doing what he used to do, man. No, not at all. It's not, it's not possible. You can't. You can't just walk in and now and, and I have had a guy walk in as a Sergio and left right left right left yeah, right yeah. uppercut spam me. The only thing that happened was he burnt up my stamina bar, but it took him like 10 rounds to KO me with that strategy. So, I learned from it. I was like, "Okay, you you still can't stand there and just eat eat uppercuts like that." But it takes so long for that fight style to be effective that you could you could just walk around somebody doing that and hook them to the face and win. You could left oh, yeah. you could left right hook and outplay somebody that left right lead body uppercut you. Easy with without this uh body block patch that just came in. So they they increased the skill gap tremendously and and now it's now it's uh increased even more um uh, in a good way uh, another another step forward there we go the patch is over Yes, sir, Ruffles. The body block works now. Like this, bro. Like this. You cannot get through. That bitch is clenched all the way, bro. Like that. I love it, man. Like, fix the things. I like when they make fixes that makes uh, certain mechanics work the way they're intended to. Like why would why would you have that body block in there if the uppercut could just leak through? Like I never understood that ever. <laughs> Here comes J Lock, bro. Here comes J Lock, bro. Here you go. <laughs> oh my god, yo, we got the ultimate, the ultimate trolls, competitors, whatever you want to call it, bro. We got we got we got the best community. <laughs> Y'all guys kill me, bro. Y'all guys kill me. Yo, J Lock on that motherfucker. He like, what patch? What he say? You know I'm outside. <laughs> J Lock killing me. Here we go. YouTube, get ready. Get ready, YouTube.
Yeah, steam, steam back up, bro. So what I what I can tell you, uh, Ruffles is fighters. Check this out, Ruffle. Fighters that have a good block rating. Fighters that have good block rating, their guard closes all the way up. The wor the worse their block rating is, they have a gap in their guard. The worse it is, the bigger their the gap is. But you can still 100% block a, a lead body uppercut even if you have a bad guard. Even if you have a bad guard. I'll show you. So we'll go to middleweight and we'll look at fighters that have a good guard. So right here. All right, Canelo has the highest guard in in uh, middleweight. I know this cuz I already checked it just a couple set a couple minutes ago. So I'll show you Canelo's guard. Canelo's guard is going to be completely sealed. Okay? So we're going to do a standing body block. Canelo's guard will completely seal up. Wow, Canelo's guard doesn't seal. What the hell? Oh, I'm offline. Wait a second. That's crazy. Canelo's guard doesn't seal up. Maybe it's because I'm offline. I'm not sure. What's up with Canelo's guard? It's wide as fuck. All right, so. Canelo doesn't have a good guard. I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I lied like a motherfucker. All right. Nigel Ben for sure has a good guard. And Nigel Ben. I don't know. Nigel Ben has a guard at 85. It's 85 rated. And I don't know. That's all I can say is Nigel Nigel Ben has a better guard. So I guess the guard mechanics probably have nothing to do with block rating with the block stat, but more of mocap. More of certain fighters have better blocking techniques than other and it probably has nothing to do with their stats at all so i lied probably has nothing to do with their stats at all just certain fighters have have better blocking mechanics so I'll show you the uh, better animation. So if you look here at, uh, if you're looking here, you see uh, Nigel right here, his, his guard is completely sealed. If you see Nigel's, his is completely sealed. So Nigel don't have to worry about that shit. He seals up all the way, all right? So, No, that means that, I don't know, the way you wrote that is kind of weird. It means that the punch will not, will not penetrate his arms. It will not penetrate his arms. Block rating is based off of, I guess, once it's sealed and somebody hits your guard, you have a guard bar. And that's how, that's how many punches you could take to your guard is what the block rating is going to tell you how many punches you can take to your guard before it goes from white to red and the punches leak through your guard so
So if we go back to Canelo, They they might they might need to patch Canelo. It's possible. It's possible they miss that. Um But yeah, you you saw Nigel Ben's guard is completely sealed. Uh and Canelo's is not. But what you can do is I pick Canelo again. This is this was the original way to 100% block. You see Canelo's guard? Now, if you if you lean forward, this was the original way to get the 100% block is to cl to close your guard, tilt and tilt forward. That would give you the 100% block. But it looks like Canelo needs to be patched. It looks like his animation needs to be fixed. Because Canelo also does not have a six axis block. He does not have a six axis a six axis block. Oh, I can show you here. I'll uh, turn off uh, my stats, turn off my uh, camera and stuff. All right. So now you can see Canelo's guard. All right. You can see the little block gauge down there at the bottom. And we're gonna have Ricky Haddon hitting us. You see he's hitting nothing but guard. It turned orange. Now it's red. So Ricky's getting nothing but guard right now. He hit me in the head right there. So he's getting nothing but guard. Every now and then he's hitting me in the head. But Ricky's not throwing any lead body uppercuts. So it's kinda hard to determine. It could be an animation thing like J Surge is saying that uh they didn't they're not able to um they need to fix that animation. But I wouldn't trust it. I would I would not trust it because this game is very physics based and wherever the arms are is where they are. If you hit the arm you don't receive damage. If you hit the back or whatever you don't receive damage. So me personally the way Canelo's guard looks like that, I would not trust that. The way Nigel's guard looks, I would trust Nigel's guard. It looks like they need to patch the game. We'll try another fighter. We'll go to uh, to welterweight. And we'll find another fighter with a good guard. Nello's got 90. Crawford's got a 94. So we'll go to Bud Crawford and Welterweight. He's got the best, so called the best guard, Bud Crawford. If you're. So, so here we go. Um, you can see that Bud Crawford has a complete, completely sealed guard. His guard is completely sealed. 
when he leans back it kind of opens up but standing forward that thing is that thing is sealed up so uh, right now i would not trust canelo's guard i think he needs to be patched Yeah, the side, you can get hit on the side. You definitely can get hit on the side. If you throw, you see, look, he's doing it right now. He's he's guarding the body. But you can you can catch that you can catch those ribs. You see that? It ain't it ain't always all the way sealed. You can get that uh Yeah, it's like a turtle for sure. To block the side, you gotta lean. If somebody attacks you from the right side, you gotta see how his elbow drops down? You gotta go to the weave. You gotta put your elbow, you gotta get that triangle elbow down like that. See, so this is, this is the weave without a block and it still blocked that side, but you throw the block in you block your head and the side. So, uh, yo, Ruffles, I'm going to be making some YouTube videos about all the tips and tricks inside of the, uh, the Undisputed game. I'm going to start uh, a video, a YouTube video tomorrow. Y'all can, uh, my YouTube is attached to my Twitch stream. If you click on my account it's the same name bzr 1986 on youtube and i'm going to be dropping a whole lot of fight sauce i'm talking about a lot of shit that may not have ever even crossed your mind i'm going to be dropping fight sauce on a youtube video so uh, i suggest y'all tune in and and pass it around, you know what I'm saying? Forward it to all your fight friends. <laughs> I I have no idea. Uh, he might he might still be pretending to be me. <laughs> he said VCR gonna get y'all beat the fuck up. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Guess what? If you if you could watch the video all day long, but it might be hard for you to be me. I got my ass whooped a whole lot of times, bro. You can see the L's on the record. You might have to get your lessons up. You might have to get your lessons up. But the goal, the goal of the video is not for you to instantly be good overnight the goal of the video is to put you on the right track yeah the mic the mic drop yeah my bad the goal of the video is to put you on the right track and you got to listen to what i have to say because i could just tell you i could just tell you you know hit x y you know hit x y a but you have to listen to the philosophy behind the things that i'm saying <laughs> he said the goal of the video is to make two hundred dollars IQ. <laughs> uh, but hey, babe, you almost ready? No, I'll be ready in like another thirty minutes. Another thirty minutes. Uh, I need mean like forty-five. Forty-five minutes. All right. You know what? Um. The goal of the video is to make millions. Yeah. Make millions. Get a whole bunch of like, views, and follows and shit. So after you watch the video and you like the video, I need to forward it to your mama, your grandmama. She don't play Undisputed, but she need to know about some shit in case she had to duck. You know what I'm saying? She had to duck somebody. Uh, the mama, your grandmama, your grandbabies. Uh, you know, you just never know. When it's gonna be time to be undisputed. Oh 
<laughs> he said leave granny out of this <laughs> hey who's that guy to be on to be on facebook or whatever the police officer to be teaching you how to like disarm the gun he disarm the gun and then turn that motherfucker around at you and then you get shot and show somebody in heaven <laughs> Every time they try to disarm the gun, they go to heaven. Who's that guy, man? That's that's gonna be the YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the link right now, bro. I'm gonna drop you the link right now. Give me one second. All right, here I go. Oh, oh, look at that. J Surge got he got all of that stuff. There, I mean, shit. Yeah, there, there it is. There, there it is, man. All the stuff right there. All right, so we're gonna do we're gonna do one more fight. Yeah, the self defense teacher, that guy, bro. That should be funny as hell, bro. Motherfuckers be going to heaven. Boy, they be going to heaven fast. So, I'm not going to teach you how to go to heaven, but I'm going to try to teach you how to stay out of hell. All right. And when it's time to go back to school, I want you to buy one of your babies a BZ t-shirt, all right? Buy your kids a BZ t-shirt. <laughs> Thank you for uh, the subscribe, T Mac. That's that's different. Oh, that was a YouTube subscribe. Okay, I was like, why does that look like that? I've never I've never gotten a YouTube subscribe while uh while streaming. Hey B Z, you're about to jump off. Uh, yeah, I am actually. I'm just gonna be my last fight, and I'm gonna jump off. I gotta uh, do some things with my wife. All right, for sure. You staying yeah, off? I'm probably gonna jump off. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, I gotta go hop off too. But oh. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna throw. Uh, I'll probably throw it to Rodizi. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll just we'll drop it all off at uh on Rodizi, man. Let him let him handle up. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably about to jump off right now. All right. <clears throat> you about to be on? Uh, you about to be back on soon? Like oh yeah, hours? yeah, yeah. I'll be back. All right, for sure, for sure. All right, I'll catch you later, bro. It's good talking to you, bro. Yes, sir. I'll hop on the voice chat later too. If you're down. All right, yeah, sound good. All right, brother. Catch you. All right, let. How are people feeling about the changes in the update? Ah, uh, shit. I like it, man. Um, on, on, I can't speak for everybody. Some people are liking it. Some people are not. I like it. I think it's fire.
Um, it looks a little slower. Um, well, we definitely, I'm definitely uh, two fighters that are a little bit on the slower end. They're not the fastest, the fastest hand fighters right now. <clears throat> there is some uh, fighter fighter fatigue in the game more fighter fatigue And Angelo, thank you for the uh, thank you for the Facebook sub. That was you, Angelo. Thank you for the, the Facebook sub. Me and the YouTube sub, bro. That's a first. That's a first. You know what I'm saying? We got some growth here. We already growing. Knock this game and I've been popping in and out all day noticing using Ben quite a bit. Oh shit, Ben just got slept quite a bit, bro. Game over for Ben. You seen the sauce? What's up? Ben just went night night time. Y'all want to know why Ben went night-night time? 
Do y'all know why? I can tell you exactly why Ben went to sleep. But do y'all know why Ben went to sleep? Because I got hit with a chin uppercut at the exact time that I was bending forward with the weave. I was going forward with the weave to do like a body, either a body jab or, a, or I was about to do my own chin uppercut. And the physics in the game had my fighter going forward and my face met the uppercut at the right time and the physics gave me a flash KO. So that is the counter. The chin uppercut is the counter to somebody body jabbing you or um, other things. Catch my uh, YouTube channel to get the, the rest of the sauce. <laughs> So I, I went into the full, I went into the full tilt weave uh, right at the very moment he uppercutted me, and uh, that's lights out, bro. That's how you stop that shit. I'm having, I'm having a good, uh, good stream, Gerardi. Um, I like the new patch. I'm a fan of this one. Early on, from the very start, I can see that I'm a fan of this patch. Yeah, uh, the, the new block is great, man. Uh, all I can tell you is going into your fight tonight, man, is be careful of gassing yourself out because you got a new block, but guess what? Your opponent has a new block as well. So you're blocking, he's blocking, and we're all blocking. We got a block party. He ain't want no smoke. We got a George Groves. Come on, George Groves got a nice, nice guard on him. <laughs> yeah, a little stadium in the back. It's all rusty and shit. Definitely underrated. Ah. 
Ah, he's he's definitely serviceable. Just like Robin Reed is a serviceable as well. Yeah, he's got a really good uh, jab. His jab is extremely nice. Right now, I'm out jabbing. I'm out jabbing Groves. Oh, he's back in the jab party. Pretty decent. Try to try to throw some slips in there. Uh, I told somebody that I was coming with the slips. The slips was coming. I think it was Spook, man. Spook had been telling me slip, slip, slip. He's been telling me for the last two or three days, and I told him, you know what? The slips is the slips is coming to the sauce bender. Get ready. Check it out when you get the time, Brody. All right, all right. Slips work, but sometimes I don't feel like I'll be hitting a button and they just don't, they just don't activate right when I tell them to. They be bothering me. But when they do work, they work.
Oh, I thought for sure I had got him, bro. I jumped in the pocket and I still wasn't close enough to hook him. That's a little bit wild. Said, so don't slip, just lean back, block. So we got, we got Groves on our ass, y'all. So we gotta, we're gonna have to go ahead and give them that sauce. Where's all my charger cords? Y'all been taking my charger cords? Should be right there next to the bed. No, I just have my cords. I just have the bases, but I don't have no charger. The other one should be uh, on. The other one should be in that bathroom on that uh stereo you got. No, I just got a base. Can we pieces? Three bases, no parts. Three bases, no parts. Do not be all in my room probably do my stuff while I'm gone. Yes, ma'am. Mama, can we can we eat uh can we eat pieces? All right, yeah, I could definitely tell. Like this fight in particular, man. Um, they did, they did tweak the stamina again. They've, they've definitely tweaked it. What exactly it is, I don't know. I'm gonna need, you know, more and more days with it. But it is tweaked for sure. You know, where I went, right when I was getting used to the old stuff that I didn't like, but I was used to it, got something new. Hopefully, I'll get used to this. Usually, uh, four fighters, four fighters. Some of them are always online fighters. All the big updates have been four, I believe. Oh, 
God damn, he's able to punch and move faster than. Oh, he's loose foot, that's why. He ate that hook. He ate that hook right there. Tan him up. It's getting ugly. It's getting ugly. I got my rounds back too. Foolery. Bad, bad. Call me with some foolery right there. You think this scoring system changed? I'll take a look at it. I don't see how it could have changed too much, but. I'll take a peep at it. I don't know what you're saying now. You said it changed, and then you said or how they scored it.
find it harder to score. Check the scorecards after this fight. This is a, a one of my more decent, evenly matched fights of today. This one's very decent, very evenly matched. Uh, this guy's a streamer, and he seems like he knows how to fight. He knows what to do. He's giving me a little bit of a hard time. So. Let's see if I can beat him, and if I don't beat him, let's see why I didn't win. You see this rickety old ring that I'm boxing in? Santiago? 21 gigabytes, baby. Took a lot of space to make it look this ugly. Uh oh, they got me. They got me up. I'm not, you're gonna be looking crazy. You're gonna be looking hungry as hell. You better bite each other. Gonna be one sibling short, somebody gonna get eight. Survival of the fittest. Huh. Man, what the heck, bro? 
This is this is different, man. The the way they the pacing is much different in the game now. Without a shadow of a doubt, the pacing is different. fight is way more even than what it should be or what I thought it would be. That was what's parsec never heard of it <laughs> most likely more of a reason to use parsec now it's not because of DC yeah so that was um that fight went much further and deeper than I thought it would it would have to go had me win by two points I can't believe they gave him the last round that's ridiculous they gave him the last round Really, the only round he won was round three. So yeah, I got him by two points. I shouldn't have gave him round three. 
Wow, look at the stamina. That's probably the stamina uh, is probably desync. I'm gonna say it's a it's a desync thing. He's at 82 percent. I don't believe that his health was really low. Um, I had a lot of body shots. Um, so we'll go to some rounds that I lost on. Okay, so that looks like a regular losing round. Over here, uh, this looks like a, this is around. This is around that I had a problem with. Um, looks like I lost purely due to I didn't land. I didn't land an, uh, enough shots. It was equal in the shots landed, and I didn't do anything to separate myself otherwise. Same thing here. Didn't land enough total shots. One around. One around. One around. Lost around. So this this is um, particularly this is particularly oh strange round to lose. I landed more shots, more straights, more hooks. Um, lost the jab. Lost the uppercut. Um, lost the counter, lost the blocks. Um, so it looks like one of the judges probably favors uh, counters more than anything. I'm not going to say it's the uppercut. I'm going to go with it's counters. I'm just guessing they favor counters. So... We'll go to another round that I lost. I lost emphatically on this round. I didn't win anything, so de deservedly so. On this round. Yeah. For the most part, I lost when I was supposed to lose. There was only the one round, round uh, three. This one is slightly in question, slightly. But nothing to nothing to throw your hands up in the air and get get irate about. Uh, it looked like I should have won the fight, and I did. So it is what it is. I didn't see nothing to, to throw my hands in the air about. Yes, there is desync in the game. Will the desync ever go away? No, it will not. The desync will never go away unless um, there are servers in the game, unless they put servers in the game or something like that. So it looked. It looked pretty legit to me when I just glossed over it. It looked like the same old, the same old thing. Uh, if I see, if I end up seeing um, a fight that I lose, it looks uh, controversial. Controversial, then I'll definitely uh, say something about it. Um, All right, we're gonna give uh, Rod Deezy the raid, man. Give Rod Deezy the raid. So here we go. Rod, Rod Deezy puts in a lot of work on the game, so we're gonna support him. Here we go. I'll be back on later on tonight and tomorrow. I'll be streaming, you know, all week as usual. Holla at me.
My nigga in the Mexican hood. Just, yeah, man, Goose was just talking about how this motherfucker damn show look like, look like, you know, an off-brand fucking hood gym type shit. Let's go right on for your raid the other day. How you liking the update? Hey, man, that's, 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 uh, ain't no problem, bro. You know what I mean? Definitely all, all love. I definitely.